Welcome back, everybody, to Climbing the Ranks. Uh, it's an official, non-Patreon exclusive show. We decided not to go that route because why would we gatekeep my, some of my favorite content that we do? I think we all enjoy doing this, so why would we put it behind a paywall? We know people are going to pay for it, but, you know, why why keep people out? My name is Jordan, and this is Tyler. My name is Ethan, and this is Maya. <laughs> I think we introduced them last time instead of doing all four at the same time, and it... I forgot about that, but they're here again, getting us the views, right? Our better halves. <laughs> yeah. I did say that last time, I think. You called us and your you made... friends. Did you? No, yes, I did. You said friends. You're with our friends, Cuba Rebels and friends. Yes, you did. <laughs> I just said friends. I didn't even say like best friends or. Maybe you said best friends. Yeah. yeah. That would be weird. You're with my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Right? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Anyways, today we are going to be ranking Disneyland rides. Last episode we did all of the Star Wars properties, at least all of them that we have seen and or played. Uh, this month we will be doing Disneyland rides and sometime in the near future we'll fill in with all the California Adventure rides. But we both, we all love Disneyland very much and... I think it'd be fun to talk about every single ride that they have there and see which one comes out on top. And this is OG. This is Walt's Park. Yes. There's lots of parks that we can add someday if we ever get to them. Please support us on Patreon so that we can take a trip to Japan. Euro Disney, Japan, Shanghai, uh, all of them. Hong Kong. Florida. Florida. Nah. Paris. I don't need to go to Florida. Yeah, you do. I do need to go to Florida, yeah. or I don't need to go to Florida. Disney yeah. World, you need I to go. Feel to they're nodded. Yeah. I didn't know which one that was. Uh, I've never been. <laughs> She's never been, but she really wants to. Ah, and she should. I want to go. You all too. should. I want to go with Jake around Epcot. Oh my God. Yeah, they're updating a lot of stuff, so it'll be good to go in the near-ish future. Once they update all of Florida too, it'll be really nice. Yes. Oh my God. That's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Okay, so I think we decided we we're going to go in order of release, release, <laughs> opening, opening date. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's let the ladies go first. Taylor, oh. Disneyland Railroad. Where do you have Disneyland Railroad on your, on your list? I have it at number 12. 12. Ooh. Maya? And I have it 15. Ethan? 16. I have it at 5. Hey, let's go. I I really enjoy the Disneyland Railroad. I think it's an... Okay, oh, we should have talked about this before, dang it. I, for, I made so many different lists based on different criteria, and I tried to like average them all together, and I didn't like how that came out, and I just had to kind of go by feeling. But there, there were so many parameters that went into this. Length of line, quality of line length of ride quality of ride disneyland railroad has a short line usually not a good line mm -hmm. very long ride and i think it's a fun relaxing like just get off your feet and just chill look at disneyland from a different point of view sometimes there's like cool uh you know sets the dinosaurs and stuff i think that's all very cool so i enjoy it quite a bit i think it's a fun ride I, I love it. I feel like I put it too low, but I thought about moving it up, and it's not that, like, it's worse than anything. It's just that, yeah, that's just kind of where it falls, but, yeah. I, like, it it could easily go higher. I love the, I, I love trains, so. Yeah, oh my it's god, solid. yeah. 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 Pretty much what you guys said. Uh, my dad yeah. used to use it as like a let's take a break ride. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we liked it too. It was fine. So I think it's only 12 because like you guys said, there's a lot of other things that my just genuine enjoyment and like willingness to ride it over and over again surpass it. I just watched a video recently by that girl who made the four hour Star Wars hotel video she did a whole thing about, like, Walt Disney's obsession with trains. Oh, and, yeah. Like, from small, you know, model trains to, like, the kind of medium size, you can sit on it and ride it around kind of trains, and then his, like, ultimate dream 
was, you know, the Disneyland Railroad, which takes you all around the park. And I, I think that's awesome that he kind of full vision achieved that. So that's not why I like it as much as I do. I just think that's like an extra cool little perk to it. Um, I, I think they still have his trains at uh, Griffith, I believe. Oh, yeah. They, they're somewhere. I want to go see that. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah me that. too. Like the ones that you sit on, right? Um, do you have a favorite... Say that again? Yeah, it's okay. Never mind. Go ahead. I was going to say, do you have a favorite station? Um, in the park? Favorite station? Or I guess... Or a favorite, or, or a usual place that you get on or get off? I f okay, I feel like I usually get on in Tomorrowland because mm -hmm. it's right before the dinosaurs. Okay. Yeah. And it always seems very yeah. short. I never get on in New Orleans Square. I never Same. get on in Fantasyland. Yeah. Um, so it's either the front or Tomorrowland. Fantasyland is the Toontown station. Yeah, yeah. I think I think that's where I usually get on. Yeah, that's where we usually get on. Really? It feels it's far like from you go the to... entrance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You don't want to walk but, all the way to the front. I was going to say, so I think that's normally where my dad, like, we'd ride one ride in Toontown, and he'd be like, let's pop on and go to the front. Right. I love it. But it makes uh, me sad because I, I feel like I haven't ridden it from the front to Toontown in a while. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow. Also, the change tomorrow? that yeah. they yeah, made. Yeah, that's tomorrow. The change to it that they made around Rivers of America, like a, like between Tom Sawyer Island and Star Wars Land, is one of the most okay. beautiful places in the park now. Like, I, I love sitting on the train as you go around, like over the waterfall, over the rocks, around, around the island. Exactly. That's such a cool spot. And that's what I'm sad that I haven't ridden in a while. So yeah, we'll have, yeah. To, we'll have to do that next time. It's a good one. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, Jungle Cruise is next. Taylor? I have it at 13. 13. Maya? This is Jungle, Jungle Cruise? Jungle Cruise. I have it at 20. Pretty much. Ethan? Yeah. That's, I knew she'd say that. I'm at 10. I'm at two. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I, this is good. This We're getting some good variants. This is going to be a very interesting list at the end. Yeah, I feel like Star Wars was, it, it just was going to lend itself to being a, a bit more in line with each other. Unless, you know, we've watched all that stuff together, so yes. we kind of feel similar about it. There was some, like, slight tweaks, but, like, we generally feel the same way about all those things. But, yeah, we we like all these rides for very different reasons. I think Jungle Cruise is one of the most fun rides. It's always a little bit different. Depending on the skipper that you get, you could have a totally... You could have a bad experience, but you could also have a really good experience. Um, and it's got some, like, really good animatronics. I can't believe it's an opening day attraction for, like, how involved it is. I'm sure it's been updated over the years, but I think it's awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm actually surprised I put it so low. I love Jungle Cruise. Yeah, it's fun. But ten's not bad. Top ten. Thirteen felt think? perfect for me. Fair. I mean, uh, when I was younger, it was obviously I liked like <clears throat> all the hippos and all that stuff. That's what I was paying attention to. And as I've gotten older, I've ridden it less, but. I've become more aware of like what the skippers are saying and now that's what I enjoy and I never was catching on to that when I was younger I don't know if they were as like flagrant with it or whatever but I've always had really fun skippers <laughs> they're yeah. fun like as I'm older I'm like I'd ride it just for the like haha and something new not just recycling the same ride again you know they all bring something yeah. a little different yeah um I'm trying to think of the line it's shaded no it's normally yeah. not too bad of a line yeah. to pop into, especially if you just waited like two hours for Indiana Jones or something. It's a nice themed line. It's a bit long, but I like the environment of the line. Um, Maya, why do you hate it? <laughs> I Oh my God, Such it's funny. I don't hate it. <laughs> you know what? I think it's kind of like what Taylor said is I we just don't really ride it as much. And so I think there was other rides that I just ranked a little bit like higher than it. Um, but I, I do like the Jungle Cruise. We just don't find ourselves going on it that much. I think yeah. that's yeah. why it got put where it put. Yeah. 
to echo that, that is that's why it's a ten for me. Like I could put it higher. Like it's, but I'm like, man, I never like jump for it. And I think there's a couple reasons. One, I love the line, but it's, I think it's always too long. Like, yeah. what's so interesting about, I guess Disneyland is like I feel like there's this ratio between like weight to enjoyment that like everybody has, where. Yeah. You might love a ride, but you're still not going to wait for it. And for sure. then some that just have weights that are too long or too short. Um, I couldn't even give you a number. I feel like maybe it's not too bad. But uh, in terms of like theming, I love the Jungle Cruise because you really yeah. are like you forget you almost forget you're in Disneyland for a minute uh, with how the trees have all like overgrown at this point. Um, and yeah, for that to be an opening day attraction, like I, I, love, I, I do really love it. I love when you're walking down Main Street and you can hear the the gun going off. I just love that you can like always kind of tell that that mm-hmm. ride is is active and alive. Um, I, I've never walked on to Jungle Cruise, and I think that says something for the ride too. It, it yeah. always has some form of line, which is impressive. Um, also, shout out to my I've friend Kara, who works yeah, who works on the Jungle Cruise. I I still yeah. I really want us to move back so we can go, and I want to get her as as a skipper because she's really funny, and I would love to to experience that. But that that's awesome. a hard job, I imagine. That would be super fun. Yeah, you gotta. I've seen people in training, like skippers in training, and that's always yeah. interesting. Um, or they're like they're observing. Uh, like they're with shadowing somebody. Yeah, uh, I, I'm. Feel like I have, but I don't know if I've ever ridden it at night. Is it? Uh, does it run at night? Like, yeah, yeah, it does. I don't think there's any lights or anything that like draw it into being like special at night to yeah. go and experience it at night. You almost. Mm-hmm. I'd, I feel like I can't remember seeing like certain things in the water when it's so no. dark. But I like it. It's, it's cool. It's a, it's a different experience. I think the skippers do kind of, you know, they make note that it's dark. The boat has lights. I don't know if they can move them, but, like, it feels like you're okay. on, like, a night expedition. Mm-hmm. And it's, you know, you can't see anything until the light shines on it and that giant tiger is in your face. And it's it's kind of, it's different. It's, it's very cool. Okay, yeah, I want to I do that again next time, too. Yeah. You got to get it up from 20 for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can update this someday. Um, yes. Okay, shall we move on to the Mark Twain? Yeah. Yeah. Ethan, wow. Ethan, Opening day as well. Go first. I'm going first. Sure. I have it 45. No. 28. <laughs> That's very confused. Uh, Maya. I have it at like 23. Okay. Taylor. 33. Uh, I have it 32. As expected, I figured this one would be quite low. Does anyone want to say any say a few words about the Mark Twain? It's just not a ride I want to ride, to be honest. Right. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Right there. Period. Yeah. Have you guys? Yeah, ridden I guess. It? I guess it should be lower then. Yeah. Huh? We have ridden. Yeah, it. It, it should be lower, but I think there is. Yeah, I probably need to redo this list, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's not. It's not really. I don't know. I I didn't put it at the bottom because I don't have anything against it. Yeah. I think I think that that's where like this gets. I I don't have anything against it. I'm not super compelled to ride it, but it is a nice way to get away. It has a feel to it, like if you're in the mood. Yeah. And then you get over yeah. it quick. Have you ever ridden it? So I was going to say, maybe when I was younger, that was one of those things, especially since I went when I was like four Mm -hmm. years old, I'm assuming there wasn't as much stuff to do. So maybe my dad took me on everything. Uh, As a conscious adult who's a pass holder, no, I have not gone on it, which could be controversial to even rank it. But I'm going to rank rides because I've had a season pass for... I think three years as being an adult who's paid for it myself, I choose what I want to go on and I've never wanted to go on it. Yeah. Like there is not, I always feel like it's scenery. It's something that's just going yeah. on to make it mm-hmm. look and feel like New Orleans Main Street. It doesn't feel like it's a ride. I don't feel like I would gain anything from it. I don't know. Do you sit on it or you stand? Yeah, I think you, uh, there's probably benches, but it's it's a stand kind so, of thing. So, I mean, 
Yeah. I would rather just do something right right across there. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. I'm glad it's there. Uh, you know, I'm, I wouldn't take it away. It fills the space perfectly. But, yeah, as a ride, not my cup of tea. I can't argue with that. Yeah. <laughs> no arguments there. Um, all right. Let's move on to Mr. Toad. Um, I don't. Uh, I'll start. I have this at 12. Nice. Taylor? Nice. I have it at 23. Ethan? 19. Maya? I have it at 25. You wrote 36. Oops. What? How did I do that? Oh, I know how I did that. Uh, at a certain point, I'm not going to have rides higher than all of you, but... I guess I'll <laughs> speak about this one since no. I'm the highest again. Ma- Maya, you s- tell, us about, tell us about Mr. Toad. Because you're the lowest. I think I've only gone, it, gone on it. We've only gone on it like once, right? Mm-hmm. And like never again. Uh, yeah, once or twice. Once or twice? Yeah. It's not a bad ride. It's more, it's just one of those rides that like we don't really go on very often. And um, I don't know. I just thought there were other rides that were better than it. Uh, so far. Yeah, I, we've written it a couple of times. I think we wrote it right after we watched the movie, which was cool. Yeah. Because that's like such like a, a throwback. Yeah. Um, we've never, I've like... never seen the movie. Uh, what movie? Oh. Yeah, what is it called? Is it called Mr. It. Toad? It's, is it Ichabod and Mr. Toad, maybe? Okay. Or, no, it's, right. it, it's the like combo one where it's like something Ichabod and Crane and. The Headless Horseman and Mr. Toad, something like that. It's all wrapped up in that. And it's like two stories. You guys should watch it around Halloween. Ooh. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's, it's fun to watch around Halloween. Well, I'm going to go ahead and piggyback on that with the Halloween comment. <clears throat> it is ranked 23 for me because it is, I believe, the first ride we took <laughs> my godson on. And he... he he's He was three? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he literally peed his pants. He was just so <laughs> terrified. Like, I am I would oh love, God. Jordan, I don't know how to do it, if you can put a picture, like, post whatever, of his face, because it's so dark in there, and all you have is the bright I'll lights of in. what's going on. But his face, he's clutching, and he's just, like, scared. And it was our, his first ride at Disneyland. First trip oh, to what Disneyland, a first anything. <laughs> And I was so mad at Jordan because yeah, he was, was like, looking. It's fine. It's a kid's ride. He was looking on the app and he's like, thrill level low. It does say dark and loud noises, but, you know, it should be fine for kids. <laughs> and to be fair, I didn't know him as well. Like, I now know he doesn't like loud noises, yeah. which is fair. It is a loud mm-hmm. ride. Um, I didn't oh, even is? think he'd con- understand. the. Yeah, it's loud. All, there's like the dude, the judge yelling at you. The train is loud. I didn't think he'd understand the concept of hell, so I wasn't worried about that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I he forgot like that you go there. to hell in that. Yeah, he, he felt like he was yeah, there. Right? He knows like... now. Dude, that's that shows you like the fact that that's an opening day attraction, right? I'm pretty sure it's like opening that's, day. Yeah. Yeah. And hit that level of impact, I guess, that long ago. Yeah, you gotta show a before of him in line where he's looking there all cute to saying cheese and yeah, then right when God. he gets in there and we go into the dark tunnel and you can see like it's a live photo you see the smile like, wash off away. of his face yeah and he was just a That's little crazy. bit traumatized like it, for the next the, like, the next 15 minutes few rides we tried to take him on he's like f that no yeah, yeah. we we quickly figured out what's what's good for him and what's not. i was gonna say I hope, yeah. hopefully his day turned around yeah, yeah. oh yeah he'll go oh, yeah. on it when he's older or never again yeah, probably never. Again. That actually was. <laughs> he didn't even. He didn't even uh, realize the worst ride of of that day. <laughs> no, he didn't. We'll tell you about that later. Um, all right. Any other words about Mr. Toad? No. Ribbit. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys start with Miss uh, Mister Peter Pan because I'm curious. Maya. Okay. Where did you put it? It's going to be controversial because I haven't ridden Peter Pan yet. So I ranked it at 30. Okay. But I know if we do this again, it's going to be much higher. But we, I just haven't ridden it. Sure. So. Yeah. Sorry. I put it I put it at 17 off pure hype. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. And of like anticipation. And the fact that the line is always long. Like. I love that. Like. 
the, like it it could almost be higher because like this ride has become legendary to me now like the fact sure. that i've not been on it <laughs> and like can't get on it because the line is so long right taylor 15 and i have it at i have it at 27 wow, uh, wow. i guess i'm over i thought i was gonna bring the average down but okay <laughs> um well my why is it not why is it not last like I'm just curious, like what what bumped it up those few spots for you? Oh, there's there's other rides I just haven't been on, and okay, yeah, and there's definitely rides I just don't like. Yeah, Taylor, you're the highest. So. Why? Oh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I like it. I mean, the line is. I haven't ridden it in a long time, just because you know how I've been about wait times. I think since I got a pass, I've been. Much more posh about wait times. Oh, like, yeah. I'm less willing to wait for things. Totally. Even though I know I enjoy them and I really like it. Like, I really like this ride. I just, yeah, I'm not willing to wait. <laughs> this is possibly the worst line length to ride length yes. ratio in the park. Okay. It's one of the fastest rides you'll ever go on. So really, that, that why takes is the line so long? That, that's what I was gonna say. So what does that say then? Like they don't have enough carts, or it's just that that pop in. I I mean, it's an opening day ride, so like I don't know. They didn't they they weren't gonna make it super super long. Like it's cool for what it is, mm. and it, I'm sure it blew people's minds back in the day. There is a yeah. very cool part of that ride yes. where you're you know flying i don't know if you guys have seen yeah. it but like there, there, there's heard. a very cool room in there um and that is worth it to me like that's a fun ride but i'm never gonna wait in that line for us if we're right. with somebody who wants to go on it i'll wait in it if we're taking a kid on it like mm -hmm. totally but like i'm never gonna choose to go on that ride um i've heard pe people say like ride it before close because then the line's gone i don't think that's true that's like that's one that's of those so lines quiet. where they have to cut you off Damn. like right at 12 when the park closes no more people can get in line and it's still full i, I don't i don't feel like that's, that's true crazy. i've tried it before yeah. i guess maybe we'll ride it early maybe we have to ride that before rise yeah yeah first thing in the morning yeah yeah i i think that that's probably a smarter call is is trying to do it as early as possible that's crazy um all right another fantasy land ride Snow White. Taylor, what you got? Um, Snow White. Eleven. Maya? Twelve. You said twelve? Mm-hmm. Ethan? Eighteen. I can't find it. Here. <laughs> oh, there, twenty. Eighteen and twenty? Okay. Taylor, again, you're the highest. Uh, you guys, you and Maya are pretty much tied for the highest. What, what do you... You go first, Maya. <laughs> I love the movie, and I think I love the ride. So, it's like, Snow White was one of my favorite movies. So, it was just... It's fun. I think I liked... I enjoyed it when I was a kid, and I went to Disneyland, and I, like, experienced that. And then I think I enjoyed it, like, now as an adult, just because I still have such an attachment to the movie. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, I can see why, like, other people would rank it lower, though, but I like it. Yeah. I love, like, I actually, the witch and everything. Yeah. I actually didn't super, like, ever, I think, love the movie, but Snow mm -hmm. White feels Disneyland to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like when I was little and I had an autograph book and I walked up, like, Snow White is just disney right there you know she's not even one of my favorite princesses but to me she does embody like disney <laughs> yeah so i just i don't know the fair skin the dark hair i just always thought she was so beautiful and i i do like you'll see with my rankings i like these little cutesy character rides they're they're yeah. fun for me ethan same classic disneyland i actually really like this ride specifically the mine with all the gems that's always mm -hmm. if i think of this ride that's one of the mm -hmm. part that i think of is just the colors uh this also has a cool exterior with like the witch in the window mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. that's right but it just it has a cool presence in fantasy land and i feel like the line is not usually too bad no this pinocchio and mr toad are all kind of in the same 
just sphere in my mind, obviously. Like, the lines are similar, the rides are similar. Uh, this one is, I think, my least favorite of those three, if I remember correctly on my, on my ranking. It's still really good. 20, to me, is not bad for a Disney ride. Like, there's not no. many that are bad. So, uh, <laughs> just because it's of the Fantasyland rides, it's kind of, like, the lowest. That's why it's at 20. But, yeah, I mean, these rides are very fun. I love the kind of quickly hop into this cart shove the, yeah. the bar down and go off on a little bite-sized movie adventure i think it's yeah. i think it's a lot of fun classic disney classic disneyland mm -hmm. perfect yeah. pairing you're gonna walk mm -hmm. through the castle to get there I, oh yeah oh we should put that on here have you guys walked through the castle oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's mm -hmm. fun too mm -hmm. it's not that a ride though that's my number I one to put it on here really <laughs> No. <laughs> um, okay. Casey Jr. Again. And there's going to be a lot of Fantasyland because that's like basically all there was almost at the time. Yes. So um, Casey Jr. Who wants to go first? Maya. I'll go first. It's 33. Whew. Ethan? 36. Oh, no. Taylor? 25. I have it at... I'm I'm actually shocked I have it at 26. Yikes. Uh, Ethan, why is it last place for you? I don't think I've ever ridden it. And it's like a tiny kid's train. It, it You would be uncomfortable, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I, one, assume I don't fit on it. Um, <laughs> and two, like, I, I just... I'd rather go on the, the railroad. Sure. Didn't go on... I, I just... No, I, I don't even like the name, if I'm being honest. Casey Jr., what is that? It's from Dumbo. I didn't even realize that. It's like that little I'm, engine that could or whatever. I, I don't know. Yeah, it is. I'm a fake, I'm a fake fan, huh? apparently. Yeah. Dumbo has two rides. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize that. Because I think the train talks while you're on the ride, and you're, like, going up a hill, and he starts saying, like, I think he start. I think he starts saying, "I think I can." I, th I don't know. Anyways, it, it's honestly, it's actually pretty fun. I haven't ridden it in a very long time, but you do kind of feel like you're like on a train, like a little like I don't know. Obviously, you feel like you're on a train on the main one too. But there's something okay, maybe just I, a little a little maybe. unique about this one. You also don't have to sit in you're... a cage. You can sit in seats. So, oh my god, you can there's sit different... in a cage. Um, almost half like of the a circus. Yeah, cage. half the yeah, cars on that. this ride are, are a cage that you like climb into. That's kind of terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yep, <laughs> but awesome. Never rode it, so that's why it's ranked low. Fair enough. Um, yeah. Sticking in Fantasyland, King Arthur's Carousel. Taylor? 36. I'll just say real quick, I'm 35. Know. Maya? 35, yeah. Oof. 33. Ethan? Okay. That seems like that might be last place. I can't imagine anything being worse than that. Oh, there Taylor? should be something worse, but... <laughs> this is because we're adults, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. Taylor, why is it last? Um, I feel this has no place where it is. It's in the <gasps> middle of everything. Like, I feel like all the other rides on the side, that's just there with crowds of parents and strollers and stuff just trying to take pictures and stand nearby mm -hmm. i don't know how the line works i don't care to <laughs> i i i've ridden a carousel so i don't need like if you've ridden a carousel this is nothing special it's just in the way <laughs> so i, I it, yeah, it's last true. place for me yeah. yeah don't see myself ever riding it again unless my kid is begging me to yeah i don't like carousels oh. period i I like carousels. I, I used to go. We used to go. We used to go over to the mall by mm. IKEA. They had one, um, and then I used to ride the one at Knotts. I don't think I. I don't know if I've ever been on the Disney one, and I low key want to go on it, but I can't as a giant adult man go on that. So <laughs> I'm accompanied by children, so I can't remember if it's the Six Flags here. Does that have the double? Decker carousel yeah. right in front. I'm, yeah. I'm down for a double-decker carousel. Yes. I like that. That's double cool. Decker. 
Yeah, you got the like upstairs ones, and then you got the downstairs ones, and you can like mm -hmm. it, it's both levels. Those are cool. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure that it is. This offers me little. There's a picture of you, me, and Robin on that carousel. I have an epic carousel pick. That seems like we're on an extreme thrill thrill ride. Um, is that the one I'm talking about? Always... I don't know. I don't know if we're all in it, but okay, I'll have to send it to you, and maybe we can throw it in here. I'm actually, so. I'm excited. Yeah, like you say, like to go on it with our kids or something, so I can stand. I think standing will be fun. That'll be an extra little challenge <laughs> of like staying upright. I still can't like, ride it. Down for... <laughs> no, you have to hold the kid up. Whatever. <laughs> You can do that, and then I'll ride it. There's the I benches. You can sit in the bench. You don't have to ride a horse. Yeah. I want to ride the horse. No, you the have to ride a zebra, yeah. A zebra, yeah. And I remember, and then and then it, what, it goes, like, up and down, right? Like, yeah. as you're going. Yeah, yeah. I always I, I didn't do thrill rides when I was younger, so this was my, my thrill. Fair. Yeah. So I think they I actually, sick, honestly. I actually like it as, like, the epic centerpiece in Fantasyland. Because it feels like you're in, like, a... A carnival or something, but yeah, also, I don't want to feel like that in it, Disneyland. Sure, I also avoid it because of all the annoying parents. Yeah, right. I also Trust think, it. like, if there was more space, then that yeah. makes it then it makes sense sure. to put it there, but it just makes that area so crowded because it's like just, giant yeah. carousel is just, yeah, there. I mean, and... those are the other like character small rides and stuff right around there. So there's a bunch of kids and strollers as is. So to put that right yeah. in the middle where people park their strollers and leave them, like I think people leave their strollers just to go to all those rides in that little center. Oh yeah, in that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So there's they do. just strollers yeah. everywhere, and it makes yeah. it kind of difficult. I used I to know. be. I used to be the well. Part of my job used to be organizing all the strollers that people just dumped in the designated strolling area they would not park them correctly so you know for 30 minutes out of my shift i would have to just take them and line them all up so we can condense everything and have more room for more strollers Crazy. but not in that area did, did people ever sounds like a nightmare did people ever get mad about that no i don't think they noticed they come back yeah, and they just see right. their stroller like properly parked so that they can get it out instead of crammed in a pile I don't, I'm sure they like were either parts. pleased or, or didn't even notice, yeah. Um, it did feel weird, though, like, touching people's strollers. Yeah. But that was that was literally a job that we had, so. Crazy. Um, okay, let's change parks. We're going to Tomorrowland, Autopia. Ethan. 24. 24? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I don't mean to judge every time. Maya? 19. That's me. <laughs> You're right. Uh, Taylor? 22. Judge her. I have it. What? I said judge her. 22. Taylor and it's I have not, it in the red right slot. as you. I have it at 13. <laughs> okay. I like it a lot. All I right, Jordan. Fun. I Jordan, you like huffing fumes? It since you ranked it yeah, where else, where else do you get to drive as a kid? Like... Yeah, that is Even go-karts when you're a kid, you know, like either they suck yeah. or the course isn't cool or your parent has to ride with you in, in those like awkward double-decker ones. Even as a kid, you, you're feeling self-conscious because you're in the double-decker ones, not the cool, fast, single ones. Autopia is awesome. You're driving a car. To be fair, if I was ranking this as if I was a kid or like opening day or not, it was, no, it was opening day. Um... <clears throat> I agree. Conceptually, Autopia is like a really cool idea. And I think when they electrify it, it'll go up in my ranking. Yeah. But it, true. Is, it needs love. That's all I that's all I'd say. Taylor Maya. The line is hot. It smells. And I never got one of those little driver's license, so oh. it will remain at twenty two. <laughs> I have way too many of those things. I'm sure I have one I can give you. It's not my face on it. Is it anyone's face? No. Oh, then I'll no, take it's it. Just, it just has a car on it. Can All you right. still get them? I don't think so. No, they don't hand out the cards like they used to. Like They used to give like a card to everybody. There is a driver's license thing, like a photo yeah. booth. That might still be there, though. Oh. 
Well then. Because that's money. They'll take your money forever. You're telling if there's a chance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maya. I never got the license either, so I am right. kind of salty about that. But I ranked uh, it 19 because it's just a fun ride. Like, I think it's fun for kids. I don't ever want to ride it as like an adult because the fumes. You know what I mean? I'm just it's maybe hot. too big for the ride. Yeah, it is um, hot. But as, it's just like in the sun. It's hot. Yeah, but as a kid, I feel like I loved this. I I, I got like, it. I got it. You just feel so cool driving. <laughs> totally. Yeah. I got to bring up yeah. a couple things. Like when it used to be sponsored by Chevron and they had those cool like cars with the faces, they there used to be tons of like little skits that they would do on the screen that entertained you during the ride. When you go into that little like in the dark roundabout room in the line, there was different scenes where they had like projected cars like doing talking like they were at a gas station they were just talking to each other that was fun um i'm just a sucker for courses in general any kind of track i just love tracks so if i can like drive my own track at disneyland cars i love cars uh autopia at disney world is more of a like racetrack but it's much shorter um there's there's variation to this one like depending on what lane you get there's like a few different you know changes in the track that you that you go on yeah yeah it's, Dude, I'm just getting sold on cool. all these rides. <laughs> all these rides that I haven't gone on in a long time. Like now, I want to go on Utopia again. I mean, I'm sure I'm I'm overhyping it possibly, but it's it's a lot of fun. It's cool. It's cool. It may not be that fun anymore, but it's cool. Yeah. I don't I don't think you're uh, you're overhyping it. I also didn't realize that it was sponsored by Chevron. Like, are you? Do you mean like when it, they had all the Chevron cars, like the mascot yeah. people? Dude, that yeah. was the best era of Chevron. Totally. Yeah. Hands down. Now I think it's sponsored by Honda, or at least that's since awesome Chevron. I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, very cool. Love Autopia. Ooh, don't love this next one. Anyone want to go first oh. for teacups? First. I put it at 28. Ethan? 11. Oh, Taylor? 17. 36. Yep. <laughs> it's because they make e- you sick, right? E- yeah. There's I, yeah. there's a common theme to my bottom four. Ethan, what's what's your number? Uh, why, why, do you, why do you like it the most out of us? Teacups are one of my, like, OG rides. Now... I, I grew up going to Knott's more. I did go to Disneyland a few times, but and at Knott's they had the sombreros, or, I think, or something like that that you spun in. Mm-hmm. But same thing for the teacups. I love just spinning the middle thing and just trying to like just go crazy. And one of my favorite Disneyland memories is when we were there and it was like at night is my favorite time to ride this because they have like the lanterns above mm-hmm. and the yeah. vibes are just the vibes are on point. So it's a nostalgia play and a vibe play at the same time this is a rare ride this is like a special occasion ride because yeah you don't always want to get all spun up but it has a it has a place in my heart so that's why it ended up high i just don't want to get sick i feel like every time i get on that ride and i'm like you know the spinning is fun enjoying it at night there's always a risk that you could get sick Oh, yeah. And I think I just don't always want to ride that ride because of that. So, but I am going to say this. I, I think 36, Jordan, like, I don't know. I think everybody's 36 is ranked wrong and that mine is going to be right. <laughs> like, it's I, controversial. I have no like, idea I feel what very, I feel very strongly about what I put for 36. That's I was so. really hoping you were going to be in line with me because you don't like spinny rides or something. I, I thought we were going to be in, in the same place, but... Uh, Taylor? Uh, I love spinning, and I'm cursed that everyone in my life hates spinning, so I never get to go on them. And it's not that they just don't like them, they get sick. So how do you, like, (laughs) rationalize to one of those people, like, suck it up, let's go on it. I can go on a coaster that I'm scared to go on, but you can't go on this because you'll get a tummy ache. But, you know, 
My dad can't. He can't. Great. My Ruined brothers my can't. It sucks. And I'm just like, so I'm either there, just me doing it alone, and I'm smiling to and laughing to myself while everyone else has people in their cups, or I'm just like, I remember in high school, one of my friend's grandmas worked there or something, and she was able to get three of us in for free. We went, and they wanted to go on cut the teacups, and I was like, F, yeah, this is my time. Let's do this. No, they didn't want to be spun. They wanted cute little pictures, like, while it was spinning. And I was like, this is hell. I am in hell. I would have rather not gone on it. Like, it was terrible. I wanted to just whip them around, like, uh, But I like the teacups. I think it's only so low because I have not gotten to go on it in forever. No one likes it. I will you. it with you guys. I, have, I feel like I have my own back cup. Up. Give yeah. me my own cup because I love counter spinning. I like holding the thing and spinning it in the opposite direction, so I spin as little as possible. That's my favorite thing to do on this ride. Look, I think I think all we figured out is Maya and Jordan get our hundreds together, and Taylor and I are gonna yeah. go on this guys, and spin yeah. it as Combine much our forces as we can. to, to <laughs> anti-spin, and you guys can do whatever it is you guys do. You can just go get me a corn dog, and when we're done, I'll come find you. I, yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, I want a that corn sounds dog. Better. I, we'll have I, them waiting I, for you guys. I do appreciate it. I think it's classic. I, I actually mm. think it. It's not fair. You can't that say I that. You ranked it thirty six. No, it, it makes me so you know. sick. It makes me so sick. Also, but Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite I know. movies. It is one that of my favorite That just means you movies. should. <laughs> what is? Oh, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah, yeah. it is from Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. I think that just means Jordan should be thirty six. Yeah. What? <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I'm just... I'm just being mean. Uh, defend your stance. No, no, yeah. no, well, defend no but, your but here's the thing, though. Here's the uh, thing. I no, do appreciate it. Worse. I appreciate it more this than these worse. other three. No. I do appreciate it more. No, nope, you, you have to keep it last. All right, yes, it's you last. have to keep it last. Sorry. Defend your stomach. make a compelling argument. <laughs> we don't want your tummy aches over here. You can think about it next time. <laughs> Let me just go first on this next one then. Dumbo, I have 34th because, again, Damn. you spin. I'm Taylor, so sad. Taylor, where do you have Dumbo? 30. Ethan? <gasps> I have Dumbo 15. What? Wow. I have, okay. I have what? it at 18. 18? Yeah. Okay, what do, you guys, what do you guys like about Dumbo? It's fun. You can make really? it like go up as high as you want and like I it's love crazy. The control. Yeah. You have like you have control over this ride and I think that's so cool and unique and yeah. I don't know. And you feel like you're flying. Yeah. On an elephant. Come on. I <laughs> I don't remember when I went on this, like when I was younger or if I did, but Same. I remember riding it with with Maya and I didn't even remember what the ride was. Like, I didn't realize you could, like, control it and go, out, go up and down and stuff. But uh, when we did end up going, it was just, like, sometimes it's just timing. And I, and I remember it, and it was, like, light, lightly sprinkling. And it was just, like, we were in fantasy land, like, just going around. I was like, yeah, this is, this is, this is the, I don't know. There was no line, too. So yeah, we, just, we really? hopped right yeah. on. Yeah. So it was kind I, of maybe I, just a perfect experience. Yeah. For some reason, I feel like there's always a line, and this ride to me is just not worth any weight. I agree. When I think yeah. about being on it, it does actually, it feels a little more fun in my head than I was thinking, but it's not worth the weight. I, the refurbish and, like, the whole new look of it now is very cool. I like what they've done, but it does nothing for me. What, what about you? Yeah, same thing. I, Haters. I just think there's always <laughs> other stuff I want to ride. I don't. I, I just don't want to spin. I don't need to. I don't want to spin. That if that's your core mechanic, then I'm out. <laughs> that's fair. No, Paris it's funny because like cups. I want to say that might be the only time we've ridden it, and it's mm -hmm. and it's so interesting how like you have your godson. Mm -hmm. Did I uh, would put Mr. Ted last because of his. <laughs> experience like it's 100%. all about like that and yeah. uh yeah we i will never go out of my way to ride this but that yeah. one 
magic and i'll use that word magical moment was enough to get it to 15 mm-hmm. for me sure i awesome. i totally i love that and i i totally get that i need to ask him if he remembers going on that yeah oh my you know god who mr toad is because there's a chance he remembers yeah but i'll show him a picture and he'll be like mm, nah. never again remind me of that <laughs> yeah oh my How god old is he? Um, three who's now three oh, okay he's so he might not remember five Five. Is okay. he turning six? I'll, I'll die. They grow up know. so fast. Not talk about yeah. He yeah. might be. He might be. Oh my yeah. god. Um. We'll all right. We're sticking in. We we're sticking in fantasy land again. Uh. Maya. Storybook land boats. Book land. Twenty-seven. Ethan. Thirteen. Taylor. Sixteen. <clears throat> three let's go oh, oh that's i i thought i all right you got me beat on that one um i should have put this one higher i i, I need I to too. i need to start with maya what what's up okay <laughs> i ranked it low because i don't think we've gone on this that often Keep it there. and i think i just don't remember this ride that is the only reason I ranked fair. it so low. Is I fair. just don't really remember what my experience was on this ride. I don't even remember anything about it. So yeah. that, that's fair. I get that. Okay. Taylor? I'm so I'm sorry. Together? I don't think so. No? It's cute. I like it. I really like it. I liked it when I was, I think, like, <clears throat> the two things I can remember from being there when I'm little is riding these and that little takeout container that in bugs land that's not there anymore like yeah. those are the two like they were really cute really fun i like the look of everything i like it a lot ethan so that's funny because uh the reason this one is is always going to be high for me is i went as a kid i didn't go for a very long time if i thought of disneyland i thought of monstro yeah. Mm-hmm. Almost to the point where I was like, is this memory even real? But every mm-hmm. time I thought of Disneyland, I thought of this ride and I thought of Monstro. Yeah. And going back and like seeing it and it being real just like reaffirmed how like ingrained that moment, I guess, was. So yeah, I love this ride. Did we go on it's... it together? Yes. Jordan Jordan <laughs> will explain it. Uh what 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 will I explain? Us going the ride. On. He doesn't even realize what it is. <laughs> oh yeah. So I mean, yeah. You all. You literally step into a boat that like it rocks. They have to like mm-hmm. weight balance everybody. Like it. I mean, it's on a track, but like it's a boat, and it feels like you're getting in a boat. Yeah. Start by going through the mouth of the whale from Pinocchio, and then you just go on this. It's a decently le- you know long ride, and there's just all of these miniature sets. From Love all that. of the fantasy land or fantasy Disney movies, you know, you got Aladdin's castle, you got uh, Belle's village. Uh, they've added stuff over time too. I think like Arendelle is there. Like, there's. I just love miniatures. Um, I love I dang. love miniature little sets and like villages and yeah. stuff. Like, I want to put Marcel in there someday yeah. and just see if they ever notice it or something. But uh, <laughs> at any any time, I could say this is my favorite ride. I just think it's so unique and cool and usually short line, long ride and just, just chill and peaceful. And you just get to look at all these little sets. There's like sound pumped in from each one too. So you can like kind of hear stuff going on in each little village. It's perfect. I think this is the chillest ride at Disneyland. Yeah. Uh, Second, maybe only to Tom Sawyer Island where you like literally can be alone. Um, yeah yeah i I also love miniatures i loved like model railroads when i was younger and stuff and this just has like those vibes it's also very you're like a giant person in like fairyland in story it's cool how it's intertwined with like casey jr and dumbo and stuff like it just all mixes in it like reminds me of our minecraft world the way we would kind of like intertwine things you know Uh, it it's awesome I, i love it any other words on storybook land just that we're gonna write it again so that you realize what it is yeah wait so we know you're number two and number three jordan right yeah like 
yeah, the rest of us haven't said ours. Okay, I think that's interesting. Yeah, I've I've apparently the early rides are are high for me. Mm-hmm. Jordan's um, an old soul. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's move on. Don't to... spend me too much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's yeah, true. Yes. Um, Columbia, <laughs> the ship, Maya. Columbia. Find it. It's not that high on your list. You should go towards the bottom. <laughs> Twenty-four. Yeah. Ethan. Twenty-seven. Taylor. Thirty-five. Uh, thirty-one. Taylor. There we go. I'll keep it short and simple. Don't love it. Refer back to the other one I talked about. Mark Twain. Yeah. 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 Same kind of thing. I'll, I'll just, I'll go real quick also. I've never ridden it. I don't know how. I don't know why. I don't know when it runs, to be to be fair. Like, it feels like it's not always operating the way the Mark Twain seems to always be operating. So I don't really know how to catch it. But I've never ridden it. But it does get bonus points for being a pirate ship over the Mark Twain. So that's cool. Also, it's in Fantasmic in, like, a really awesome way. But that's all I got. Yeah, same. It's if you go on this ship, it's more for like the vibe than anything else. Any like than anything else. It's yeah. it's it's exactly like the Mark Twain, and I think I have them like back to back for that same reason. There's just like, eh, nothing really that special. Yeah, I I also have them back to back, but this one edges out because I love tall ships. Um, it probably should have had a bigger gap, but mm-hmm. I love tall ships, and you can like go under it and be like inside of it and whatnot um, like while it's going remember. you can like go down yeah that's awesome that's cool no it's 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 a cool ship um this ship also has one kill which is like impressive and terrifying um yikes what? Wait, expand doesn't the mark twain also or i don't it think this? so what? i thought it was, it was the mark twain no, it was the Columbia. Um, <laughs> we don't know what cap, you're talking so, about. Someone's kappa was detated. OMG, we need to go edit our last video of Disneyland, at least it's not fatal, because apparently it is. Oh, I mean, it's been fatal many times, yeah. My oh, geez. yeah. <laughs> Dang, should I have been doing a list, like, completely separate for, like, kill count? Just <laughs> I love how we said it yeah. has one kill. Factoring like, that in. Mark that on the scoreboard for this yep. one, one kill. Yes. <laughs> It's KD ratio is Mark strong. Twain's like he he stole that kill from me, but it, whatever. Yeah, I genuinely <laughs> thought it was Mark Twain, but yeah, it was it was pulling away and the rope was still tied to that like anchor thing on the dock. Where was this man's head? I don't know. And who knows if that's actually what happened. Maybe it wasn't as gruesome as that. They've accounted it's, for that now. It's nuts. I know another yeah, one so that, I like has, that has one kill. Yeah. What is it? We'll get there. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um Next up, I'll ask Taylor first for Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Alice in Wonderland is number nine. Yee. Ethan? 22. Maya? <laughs> 17. I have it at 18. You wrote 28. Dang it. Why do I keep doing that? Thank you. Um, Taylor? Love it. Top 10? Yeah. Alice in Wonderland so cute. She's again just like one of those character rides. They they're all pretty high for me, but she's one of my faves. I really like her. She's cool. You like yeah. the ride? Yeah. Yeah, but I think I would like it kind of no matter. But... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that's the one that's like kind of roller coastery? Yeah, right? Is it? No. Yeah. Not like a roller coaster, it... but you're going around in like a There's yeah, like verticality I mean... to the tracks, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. There's there's yeah. multiple levels to it. You yeah. are indoors and outdoors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's cool. It's of those ones that are, you know, like Pinocchio, Snow White, and all that. Like, it's the longest. Um, yeah. You love the movie. Yeah. So it, it it gets a lot of bonus points. That's a guys? fun movie. So it's, like, fun. They do yeah. all, they like to do all that, like, neon lighting in the, like, indoor yeah. rides. And that, to me, is the most, like fitting maybe mr toad once i watch it but i want to i want to go on this again it's been a while but yeah i remember it was uh solid yeah 
thing. I like it. I like the movie. I like the ride. Um, there were just other rides maybe I remember more cause, or like that we've been on more. So that's probably why I placed it 17. We can move up. The Cheshire Cat is hallway is cool. The Queen of Hearts is yeah. cool. Yep. I think this is one that's like been updated over the years too. Like they've added some like yeah. visual effects that kind of amplify it as well. Where I don't think like Snow White has really had that. Um, yeah, it's it's fun. It, it's very good. I, I do like the the multiple layers, like you said too. I think that's bonus points for sure. And not really that long of a line. Mm-hmm. It's very cramped. It's a very co- compact line. It could yeah. take like twenty twenty five minutes, but doesn't doesn't usually take that long they don't they don't have lightning lane on any of these rides right in fantasy land no yeah it sucks which is good like i could see them wanting to do that for every single ride i don't know how you would implement it for something like this tightly packed but i guess for the kids it's better than not you know yeah. 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 I was gonna say, can you imagine they're cutting? Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine Peter Pan? All the adults are just paying to get on and these kids are waiting That's hours. Wild. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would also That's wild. Sorry, yeah. I have a that job, so I'm gonna go on before yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Must Contribute up. to society. Yeah. Stupid kid. <laughs> um who, who wants to go first for Matterhorn? Twenty. Fourteen. So. Oh, I know this is gonna be low for Jordan. Why? Oh, I don't know. I figured it's it makes nine. me sick. Oh, no. nice. No, it doesn't make me sick. Um, okay. Wait, so am I the lowest? Yeah. Yeah. It hurts me. I get it. I want them to fix this ride yeah. because I yeah. love the concept. I love the line. I love the theme. Everything about it, this ride hurts me. I can't go on it anymore. Yeah, that's fair. It's too much, which is kind of cool, but like, can't they make it smooth? I feel like Mm -hmm. they would have to change the cars. I think the cars are too long in between their like hinge points that it it moves you too much. It's not a smooth like rolling kind of ride. So I mean, that's fine. Do that. Uh, I don't care, but then it's not bobsled, so I don't know. Mm. Who knows? Respect, Taylor, though. you're the highest. What, what? Why? Well, I would love to speak on this. However, uh, we will run into this problem again. All of the mountains confuse me. Okay. I remember when I was ranking, I had to like pull yes. up the pictures because like Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, Matterhorn, all these things, Space Mountain. Like, I know I like them i normally i don't think when i was younger we'd really wait in these lines but i'm thinking Mm -hmm. like there's the one where you go like straight down like in a log or something that we did with ashley Mm -hmm. you said the bobsleds and that instantly was like okay cool at least i have kind of a clue but like most of these just from the look of them even i'm seeing this little picture i can't really tell what was inside the ride what am i hearing sorry i think it's an ad on my ranking app Sorry. Oh, I was getting. That's like... really annoying. It was really beautiful Disney yeah. music, though. You guys both got schizophrenia right at the same time. <laughs> I was trying to think of what I was saying, where like life cued this like background music. Yeah. Like, was it something like touching? Because it was one of those like swallowing. That's like, hilarious. No, but sorry. You're fine. So that's the thing. When I said seven, it only threw me off because I'm like, shoot, I'm gonna have to talk about why that's so high. I mean, I'm assuming out of all of the rides, when I watched the little POVs of them, I'm like, oh, this is the one I like the best. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm not very good at distinguishing all the different like mountains and the lines. And I know you go on one to get wet. You go on one <laughs> yep. to you know like you're cool. Yeah. I I'm do not second mountain. that. <laughs> I definitely was like, wait, which one is this mm-hmm. one? Yeah. I like the Yeti. I was going to, okay, that was my next thing was, is this, the, is this the one with the Yeti? Yep. Updated in the last, I think, 10 years. They made yeah. him cooler. Yeah. He's kind of scary. Like the way he oh, pops older. Huh? Yeah. They made him cooler. Cooler, yeah. Because exactly. it's a mountain. Um, this ride, like any other, will get bonus points because it has variations. Depending on which side you do, your ride is different. Yeah. I think that's very cool. Yeah. Um, 
at times it kind of feels like you're racing the other bobsled i love mm-hmm. stuff like mm-hmm. that um cool it yeah <laughs> i love yeah exactly bobsleds come on cool runnings running man yeah. cool runnings we cool love running. bobsleds um right Feed an egg. i uh i don't necessarily know if this ride is worth the line that it has sometimes but this has one of the craziest pass. lines yeah it it goes a little bit quick but i i don't know i just i love it i think it's such a focal point of the park. It's like the only thing mm-hmm. that you can see from outside Disneyland. I think that's awesome. Um, mm-hmm. I, I just it's classic, and I I love it. Yeah, I love that uh, the Skyway used to go through it. it yes. I think it sucks that it doesn't anymore. Um, just like the way they like th- this is such a landmark, mm-hmm. important part of the park. Yeah, yeah. Um, has the basketball. I love court. that. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I love that it has a basketball hoop in the in the very top, and then uh, and people used to climb it. They used to yeah, have. I remember uh, not that long ago. Climb, uh, I never saw that. I think that was like maybe maybe they had it for a while, but I thought that was more like in the eighties. Well, am I misremembering? I I'm, I feel like I've seen. I feel like I've seen people climb it, climb it, but now they have like people come out of it for like the fireworks show like tinkerbell goes from the matterhorn really? Dumbo. yeah yeah she like flies oh, across cool. behind the castle and stuff so as okay, many uses as awesome. many purposes it's it's really cool um I, I, the last thing i was gonna say is i like when it ends through the water but you don't yeah. get wet i just like that part of it right yeah same good ride but yeah make it hurt less <laughs> yeah because i want to ride it more ride should not hurt um, all right, this is our last ride of the 50s. Uh, and then every other decade has much fewer additions. But our last Matterhorn ride... was not the 50s. That was the expansion. 59. 59? Yes. What yeah. am I thinking of? So that oh, it was you. the second expansion four years it's later. on your shirt. I thought it was, I thought it was 60. It's, you're wearing it. <laughs> Yeah, that's oh, my check. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. I'm very glad you can fact check that. That's that's fantastic. Yeah. I appreciate that. So yeah, our last ride of the fifties, I don't know if it's on your shirt, but uh the monorail uh is from June nineteen fifty nine as well as the Matterhorn. Anyone wanna start for the monorail? Um, I'll start. I put it at twenty nine. Taylor? Same. Ethan? 14. I have it at 30, so almost (laughs) unanimous, except for Ethan. Ethan, you can go ahead. First monorail in, like, the Western Hemisphere or something like that, or ever in America or something like that. Like, it's it was, um, I love trains. It's it's very futuristic. Um, it's also the best way to get into Disneyland, potentially, arguably. Uh, not maybe not best, but like one of the more efficient ways if you want to avoid the the crazy rush at the front. Uh, it's kind of the cheat way, um, and you get a nice little tour. So I I like going into Disneyland this way, and you get to like go over the park and see everybody yeah. and settle into Tomorrowland. Um, they also then integrated it into California Adventure, which is cool. And you like go like almost through the hotel. Yeah, I I appreciate it historically, and um, I guess the one counter is monorails aren't great. <laughs> like they're not. I think um, we're not going to build a bunch of monorails. So this is also maybe one of the only ones that we're going to, like, get a ride. Right. I'm actually mad at myself for putting it as low as I did. Because it is very classic and very, very much Disney just by looking at it. I I gave it a 30 because of just I don't like riding it. But Mm -hmm. I love that it's there. I love seeing it. I love hearing the, like, as it goes by. I I wish I didn't put it so low. But it's okay. Sorry. I just feel like if I had to choose between riding the monorail or the train, I would go the train every single time or the railroad. Um, 
I don't know. Other than using it to get in to Disneyland, I just feel like I never want to ride the monorail. Like, the windows are so small. It's not, like, that enjoyable to ride. It doesn't feel that great. On, it doesn't feel, like, that great and cool and futuristic on the inside either. Like... It needs a refresh. Yeah. I think, I think if it had a huge refresh and it just maybe felt cooler i would rank it higher but again the the only time we ever go on it is to use it to get into the park if we don't want to go through yeah like walk the, all the way yeah if we don't want to walk which all is the way awesome. through the front that, yeah at, at so. the moment it's the only other way to get into disneyland until they expand yeah. the park in the next 10 years and we'll see what that's going to look like but yeah and that I, is that is cool yeah i technically have the teacups above this which means i'd rather get sick than ride the monorail <laughs> <laughs> like or see it as a ride so oh my god what a oh, what a yeah. shot make... how do we go together how do we, how do we go to the park we, together? we just shop <laughs> we don't ride the rides yeah. <laughs> taylor i don't have much to say it's pretty much a mix of what everyone's been saying i'm sure it is like monumental for trains and stuff but <laughs> I don't need it. You could take it away and I wouldn't even notice, probably. It adds kinetic it, no, energy to the part. No hate, but take that out and but pump hate. more jalapeno cheese smell or something. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. I like the way uh, they can reskin the monorail to like mm -hmm. promote different things. Like it was the submarine for a while. That was kind of cool. Um, I'm trying to think of other examples. But I, I just they, love the they, style. They change the look of it sometimes. It, it's that um, like LAX theme building, Seattle Space Needle, Disneyland monorail. Like it fits into that like Sleek. retro futuristic, yeah, um, kind of vibe. And I I wish we had more of that. I want them to refresh it, but also sitting in the front is pretty cool. With oh, Captain I love doing that. Yes, I haven't done that in so long. Yeah. That is very. cool. Have you done that, Taylor? No. All right, Jordan, it, take her to the we, front. We can do that sometime. You just yeah. have to ask. You might have to wait for like one or two more it. trips, what? but in the front. Yeah. Yeah. They talk to you. Too She's much, like, wait, but it's cool. No. Well, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't rank it higher. <laughs> fine. All right. Well, we're we're pretty much halfway through, and that's still. We just finished up the 1950s. Let's take a quick break. Oh. You can tell us uh, if, or you can listen to our patreon ad read and give us some money if you're liking what we're talking about disney and we'll do more of this in the future and we'll be right back if you like what we do we'd really appreciate if you consider supporting us on patreon now more than ever small independent teams need all the help they can get and we'd love to have you join the rebellion joining us on patreon can get you a wide array of perks starting with our one star tier joining this tier will get you voting rights for movie madness our weekly journey through an actor's entire filmography our two-star tier will give you extended episodes of the Huber Rebels podcast, Game Chat Tonight, and Movie Madness, both ad-free and a day early. Plus, you can write into those shows for a chance to have your questions and comments read on the podcast. The three-star tier delivers the most value with our Patreon-exclusive shows. You will get a monthly episode of Crossword Struggle and Climbing the Ranks. And we have more exclusive shows planned to add even more value to this tier. Next, as a four-star rebel, your name will be listed in an on-screen shout-out on each of our weekly scheduled shows. Finally, you can be one of only 24 people to be considered a Founding Rebel. You will receive a limited edition Founding Rebel t-shirt. Your name will be read on each of our shows as a Founding Rebel, and you will forever be remembered as one of the very few people to truly help start the rebellion. Visit patreon.com slash Rebels for more information. Thank you so much for your support, and back to the show. Welcome back to the ranking of Disneyland rides. We have gone through all of the 1950s and we are now jumping to 1966. Six years until the next ride was built. Maya, can you confirm that It's a Small World was built in 1966? Or it opened? Is that correct? Yes. Okay, after, awesome. I, May 28th, after 1966. It debuted at the New York World, World Fair. Fair. Yeah. I'd love to know how they transported the whole thing, but uh, all right, Pieces. let's rank. It's a small one, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Maya. Okay. I have a lot to oh. say about this ride, but I'll save oh. it. But twenty six. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. I, thought, I thought this might have been the one, Ethan. I did too. Thirty one. Twenty eight. 
and I have 29. Damn, this is very close. Yeah, Maya, go off. I hate It's a Small World. I can maybe, <laughs> like, stand it a little bit during Christmas, just because, like, the outside looks cool. Sure. But I, I absolutely hate this ride. I think it, the only reason it's ranked <laughs> as high as it is is because there's other rides I, like, haven't been on, or I just, I'm I'm surprised that it's ranked as high as it is, to be honest but, with you. Yeah, I was going to say, you have it the highest yeah. out of all of us, and I wouldn't even say I hate I know. this ride. I hate it the most. <laughs> I hate it so much. I hated the song. I think my twin brother used to annoy me and sing it because he knew how much I hated the, the It's a Small World song. Like, it is just the most annoying I don't aggravating know. thing. I think I want to just move this lower right now because I'm so strongly about this. <laughs> but I will I will give everybody else a turn. Yeah. I can't stand this ride either. You can't stand it? Yeah, no. Really I know. Like I I guess I don't have such a passion of you know heat towards hey. it the way I do about like the carousel and the boats just because no. They don't even feel like rides to me. I mean, the carousel is, but I hate it. And then the other ones, they don't feel like rides to me. They're just, like, extra things you can do to switch it up. But this, for being a ride, yeah, I I really don't like it. I think there's a couple below it that I'll touch on, but they're all going to have the same same kind of... I just... They're annoying. Yeah. <laughs> that song is yeah. annoying. And I agree. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things where when you leave it, someone in your group is like, it's a song after and you're like come on man you just got out of there like let it die um yeah also with all the updating and stuff they do they should probably update that ride a little bit uh, let me yeah, just jump in and say the the only reason i like this ride is because they pretty pretty well integrated disney characters into it and i have fun looking for them every time but I agree, I wish there was more. I wish they updated it more often. It can't it, be that hard to put a little it, creepy hula bobblehead character like in the ride every so often. When you have a new movie, put them in here somewhere, you know? Well, like, it, it's been 10 years plus at least since they up, updated this and put all those characters dude, in, put more in. What's this from? People, what, what, what is Disney? A, it's a small world. Like, what is it? it it's from you know, the World Fair. They were literally like, the World Fair is when all the the expo, right? They've done it all all over the New York World Fair, the Chicago World Fair, the Paris. That's what the Eiffel Tower was built for. Um, and Walt built this, I think, I don't remember if it was, like, to test, like, the system, but it was also just to get all the... I think it was to test the ride system, maybe. Even though it's just a boat. I don't know, but it was... Um, yeah, there's there's no Disney IP well, with this or I was anything. Say, it's just it doesn't feel very Disney to me too. That could be a part of it. Is like it's pretty problematic for not being necessity that it is the way that it is, you know. Yeah. And I don't. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, okay. It, yeah. I'll say as obnoxious as this ride is, it's it is iconic, even yeah. if it's like iconically obnoxious. <laughs> um, it's crazy to me that this is like a significant number of people's favorite ride. I can't really? wrap my head around that, but like, no. oh yeah, this many people will be like, that's my favorite. Ride. Can I, can I switch my ranking? Can I no. move it to 31? No, you can't. Does that change anything we've done previously? No. Are you sure? Well, you're going to have to switch. You're going to have to switch. Yeah, yeah I'll no. do it real quick. No, because it's going to bump something else. No, you don't get to move it. I do want to bump something else up. No, I, you have to live with it. What's your vote? No changes. Yeah, no vote. Jordan, you're voting no changes, right? No. Will it change anything? If it changes nothing, I'll let you change it right now. It doesn't change anything we've done. Okay. So you want to move it to 31? 31, yes. I that doesn't move anything else, world. for sure? No. Oh, <laughs> Yes, it does. Never mind. Yep, you don't get a movie. <laughs> okay. All right. I wasn't thinking. Wow, you want to bump know. it down five? I do. Um, I mean, you, have to live with it. you have to live with it. I feel like there's always someone during Christmas that, like, you go to Disneyland with that, like, wants to go on It's a Small World. Like, It's a Small World. And I'm like, why? I want to go why? on it this Christmas. Maya, I just, mm. I just ranked this list by your numbers. <laughs> tell, tell me, what am I doing here? No, she's not. 
All right. No All changes. Right. No changes. Right. I just next time. Yep. I'll change it right after right after <laughs> we end this video. I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, is that all we have to say about Small World? That's yes. all we got. Christmas lights are legit. Good place. Good place to watch fireworks. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. It's pretty. I like the castle. That is not bonus points or for the... the ride at all. It doesn't get that, but Facade. it is a good place. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like the okay. look of it. It always looks cool. Yeah. And then it's just this one. All right. Shall I let you go first or last? Whichever. Taylor, where do you put Pirates of the Caribbean? Two. Maya? Six. Ethan? Two. And I am also six. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Taylor, go ahead. Love this ride <laughs> forever. <laughs> I love this ride. It's my, if I'm at Disneyland, I have to ride it ride. Um... It can have a long line, never feels long to me. Like no. within within minutes, I feel like I'm constantly moving and then I'm inside and that's where I can smell that Caribbean air, oh, you yeah. know, the musk of it. <laughs> um, but no, I love this ride and it's the perfect everything. I'm sitting, it's cool. They got a couple little drops in there. It's dark, dead magic. Come on, <laughs> uh, come on. You don't not want to ride that ride every time. Uh, someone might fight me on this, but what better movie has come out of a ride than Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's so yeah. good. Tomorrowland. Not a bad not movie. A, not a, mm. see, I heard it wasn't that good. I haven't even it's, seen it. It's, I mean, it does not compare, but it's not terrible. But yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean is iconic. One of the greatest movies ever. At one point, my favorite movie of all time. It's, yeah. Love this ride. Great ride. Ethan, you're also number two. Yeah, Yeah. I sorry, I lied, or I should I should say I forgot that I had two memories of Disneyland, and it was Storybook Land, boats, and Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates is the the one thing I always remember remembering: the water on the side, the smell, the darkness, just the 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 whole everything about this this ride is just. It, uh, I think it also like elevated the game when it came out. Like at the time it came out, it was like, how are they pulling this off? The animatronics, you really yeah. feel like you're in like a, a pirate battle, and then in the yes. the town or whatever. Like we we rode this front of the law, uh, like of the front of the boat, and I felt like I was on like a private uh, yeah. tour oh of like this. Like good things of this scene like it and yeah. I, there's always like new things you can notice too um and uh you can get wet if you want to cool down too yeah yeah or mad at me for getting her wet <laughs> Why, yeah? by sitting in the front um no i love pirates it's a great ride it's ranked six for a reason it's definitely like top 10 for sure i feel like it should be top 10 on everybody's list right um it's so good they put a restaurant on that right that's what i was gonna say i i know the best I, restaurant <laughs> i i haven't eaten there i've heard like mixed oh, things oh. like oh it's not worth the wait or it's not worth whatever but yeah. like i love the restaurant it. being there that's so fun yeah. to me and i know like yeah. you're thinking like do you want to eat a meal with all those yes i do Yes. I would love to just sit yep. in there and hear the boom into the water, psh, psh, hearing random people. Oh, you know, like <laughs> I, I love that ride. I would sit there and eat there and drink for a while. The food's the good cool. too. Yeah. So the restaurant is great. If you can get a reservation, get it. Yeah. 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 Which is hard. Um, yeah, but no, pirates. It's I. I love. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean too, like the movie. I love how they incorporated all of it. It's just mm-hmm. such a good. It's such a vibe, like the. I don't know, just everything, like the skeletons, just how they, how they've done everything. Like the real human one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There right. was a real human one on the ride, but yeah. in the jail, right? Mm-hmm. I know above no, the bed. Above the bed. Oh. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> It's funny how we always, like, you hear the same things, but, like, different 
variations of yeah. them. Um, yeah. Yes. My one little criticism is with how beloved this ride is. They should have it at some point where I go through and all of the little couples are running around. Like, there is always one of those yeah. couples that's supposed to be chasing each other through the thing that doesn't work. Um, I the get last it. Like, few times we've gone on it, it's been flawless. Yeah. So I don't know then what they awesome. did. Because, then I would love to, to see that. But there were years where yeah, at one mm -hmm. least back, one of them were frozen. Yeah. It's like, yep. that and, is... And yeah. with it being so popular and everyone loves this ride, I just feel like, that should be an easy fix. But, I mean, you're getting other mm -hmm. newer updated rides that have like CGI and different stuff in it. You can't make this thing keep going around on a yeah. magnetic track. Like, but, but small in the scale of everything else. Besides that, there's like no wires exposed on this ride. Like everything, it's like, it's so That's dark that point. you can pretty much, everything is believable. Like you don't see any like wires or, uh, you know, actual mechanic arms. Like or anything. it's just all excellent animatronics. And it's long. It's got a quick ride, like you said. It's nice and cool. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like there were other things I was going to say, but I think you guys hit them all. It's yeah. just fantastic. I love they've that updated they... it well throughout the years. Like, they've added. Mm -hmm. It's funny how it, like, it inspired the movie, and then the movie then back inspired the ride. So, like, Jack mm -hmm. is perfect on it. I don't need the mm -hmm. fog, like, the Davy Jones, like, fog screen things. That's kind of weird. But, uh, I like Jack and Barbosa on there is like animatronics, I think is awesome. I agree. Yeah. Hell yeah. And the drops are the good. Caribbean. They are mm. good drops, yeah. Do you have a favorite awesome. part of that ride? Because I keep trying to think like I think right after that second drop, when you're like in now you're on the level. In the layer. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's my favorite part. Me too. I love the giant ship that they put in there too. Like where it's there's an actual giant pirate yeah. ship. Yeah, cool. I agree. I that story. like kind of like treasure cave is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. There's like the yeah. storm going on in the distance. You hear that echo through through the cave. It's 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 awesome. I love it. Okay. Um, all right, Haunted Mansion, Maya. Five. Ethan. This is original Haunted Mansion. Yes. Twelve. Taylor. Six. I don't know. I, I actually don't feel good about this, but it's my number one. <laughs> I don't Let's know go. why. Let's <laughs> go. I when I opened no, my list today it. to do this ranking, I looked. I'm like, that's not right. But then I yeah. looked. I'm like, I guess it is. <laughs> like it just. Yeah. I've always said it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. There are more fun rides, but as I've gotten older, I like the creepy and spooky stuff more. I I I think it's a lot of fun. It's got one of the coolest mm -hmm. lines. Uh, maybe it's changed now. I don't know since it's been reopened. But like that whole like garden and like courtyard of the of the mansion is awesome with like the tombstones and stuff. And then the elevator of doom, like awesome. The paintings yeah. when you yeah. exit that room was awesome. Um, and it's just it's just nice and creepy. And sometimes it closes down or it stops, and you're just sitting there and you're just chilling. And I don't know. It, it's it's a great ride. When was this made? What I year? have 69? March of sixty nine. Yeah, sixty nine. It was that the first. It was the first ride after Walt yeah. passed. Whenever the I... last one he worked on, I think. Yeah, this is. It's such an experience, just like how you move through like one area to the other, like to the. You know what I mean? Like you start in the elevator yeah. and then you move through this part. Um of the haunted mansion i don't know i just think it's so it's so well done i don't think that like they did another ride like this until rise of the resistance i feel like i would say that was so so it's like i'm on that's why i asked what year because i'm like i'm so surprised it was 69 yeah did yeah. it not start as that's like a walkthrough ride i feel like i i've heard did that, it? that it, it was like a walkthrough so. experience Okay. okay. I'm curious. That I could makes be wrong. sense then. Well, whatever they've added to it is amazing. The way they so use the space, true. like there's literally yeah. just this house, this old mansion, and there's a whole ride yeah. that like to me seems kind of invisible. Yeah. Right? Even like you said, like with the elevator, you feel like you're really going in this house and then going downstairs. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah. yeah, this this whole this is one of the best spots in all of, in Disneyland. Mm -hmm. At night during Halloween. Oh my god. Yeah. 
during Halloween, during Christmas, too. It's such a vibe. Taylor? Um, yeah. Actually, I'll probably get into this when we rank the next one, too, because I had previously had Space Mountain ranked where this was, and I flipped them this morning just because <clears throat> it was the line. Like, the line is always super long for both of those mm -hmm. rides. So I think it's always just one of those things you got to really want to ride it or be there at a good time in the day that you're not waiting for a super long time. The line is outside. Um, if you're going, like, during the day, it can sometimes kind of be hard to put yourself into the setting once you're in there because, mm -hmm. you know, you've been outside waiting and you're hot and you're True. just trying to get inside finally, like, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But um, I am one of those few people you can attest to this i love haunted mansion that yeah. movie yeah. the movie yes. is awesome yes. i love it i know a lot of people don't but i love that movie he knows this like yeah. every time i'm like do you want to watch it and he's like i don't super love that movie i'm like i do i could watch it every halloween it's funny it reminds me of when i was little me and my dad used to laugh together to that movie a lot and i think the ride is perfect like it it you know obviously it is but it just it feels great like one of those movies you want to be in it's kind of spooky but not too spooky kind of funny yeah i always liked the like comedic relief in between when i was little but i i, I like it it's just the line that has it so low honestly it's it's really long yeah. and when you throw in the variations like makes it a little a little more spicy yeah there's are you talking about the original haunted mansion movie yes yes did you watch the new one yes i did yeah i liked it more than she did I, yeah, the first one was Since to me. watching through Wes Anderson's collection, I have come to appreciate Owen Wilson. Like, I can't even believe how much I appreciate he Owen Wilson. Does. So he <laughs> made me laugh so Wilson. much in the new one. It, it, it I, I'm not gonna say it's better than the original. Like, I don't, I don't dislike the original. It's just, I don't have an affinity for it like she does. But like yeah. this one just made me laugh more. Yeah. So it, it was. It was it was good. I liked it. Weird that they remade it. Haunted just great all all around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're remaking it's not everything. Weird considering a lot of people didn't have the feeling I have for the original. It's not you know considering it's still a ride. It's one of the most popular rides. I would say they do mm -hmm. it up for Halloween. It's it's a key sense right next to Pirates of the Caribbean. I feel like right there is the area where people want to hit every time they're there. Like yeah. if the movie isn't everyone's favorite, I feel like that is a Disney thing to be like we we need to make this everyone's favorite. Right. And they picked people who are awesome. The cast was great. I have nothing against the new one. It's probably ranked pretty decently on a score of a movie. It's just when I consider my fondness towards the original, Madame Leota, all that stuff. It was yeah. great. Jimmy Lee Curtis, oh my God. Yeah. She's in everything now. <laughs> um, all right, let's do Space Mountain. Maya, we're now into the 70s. Four. Four. Ethan. Taylor? Eight. I have it at ten. It's all top tens. Let's uh, go. You guys can go. Take it away. Um, it's just hmm. one of my favorite roller coasters, I think, at Disneyland. Like, it's, it's just so much. It's just a fun ride to be on. Um, I feel like the line goes pretty quick, too. So... But sometimes there's a long line. This one, yeah, this one I think is all about timing. Yeah. I I love Space Mountain. I won't wait two hours for it, though. <laughs> yeah. Um. But the the lightning lane is pretty quick. I was gonna say too. one of the better Maybe. fast passes that there is, if you can yeah. get it. I feel like you go straight to the front. Yeah. Oh, that is the last time we wrote it. We had the th okay. Yeah. Well, you that's why I had that. The outside. Yeah. <laughs> like... Huh? You at least skip the outside. Like this is one of the hotter yeah. lines because you're on that like I... cement roof and just getting banged yes. while you're circling around up there. Yes. Yeah. In the old room with bad air conditioning. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's it's dated. I I want this ride to get updated. It's mm -hmm. dated. It should get updated. Um. <laughs> But I remember, like, always hearing people talk about this ride. And when when I first started riding it, I couldn't believe, like, how anxious I got. Not, like, panic anxious, but, like, that the the room where, like, the lights start flashing. Yeah. Really get you in the mindset of, like, mm -hmm. 
oh my god this is going to be intense and i think you don't actually go as it's like one of the better ones where like you feel like you're going a lot faster than you're actually going um through the disorientation and stuff so yeah but one of the if not the highest thrill ride at disney proper yeah i would think so yeah yeah so. Taylor, it's already jumped down two spots. What happened? I know. I, I said eight. I accidentally, I meant ten. I got <laughs> confused. Um, it's ten. Uh, it's, like I said with Haunted Mansion, it, it was up there. It's fun. It's just, uh, the, I've never been willing to wait in the line. And I don't think my family's the type that they want to wait in the line either. So we just kind of don't ride it. And since we go on our own, I don't think we've ever even looked at the line to be like, should we ride it? No. Like, it's really fun. It is one of the, it's top 10, really enjoyable. Um, I think it was one of the like more fun rides to ride as a teenager when I'd go. Yeah. But yeah, now with everything else, I think my appreciations have kind of shifted into like what feels Disney and what doesn't. And this to me, it's like, it's a fun ride, but you could put that at Knott's Berry Farm and it would fit in just as well. Or, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. it just, it's a nice coaster. This is the second best ride to take a picture like the picture that it takes of you yeah is very good are there even that many at disneyland like i can only think of this and splash mountain actually at the moment are there pictures? others yeah astro blasters <laughs> astro blasters does that's right but that that one's yep. always garbage like you can do a janky good, picture good picture yeah. on this one um is there really yeah, i didn't I, realize that was no, it can either i'm can trying to think i don't pictures? think there's much more like california adventure has more now that I think about it, yeah. but yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it, it's a fantastic ride. It's such a fun roller coaster. You, mm -hmm. Maya, you said like one of your favorite rollers at Disneyland. I think it's one of my favorite ro roller coasters. Period. It's just being yeah. that dark, mm -hmm. and it feels very fast. I don't know if it actually is, but the the as often as you turn, it feels like you're just moving so quickly, and you can't really tell where you are. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, great. I'll say I'm always scared to put my line. hands up. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. I know I'll be fine, but it, but that uh, that makes it more fun to me. Like I love that little. That's extra, what I mean. Like extra it, fear. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't want to put my hands up. Yeah, but if it had a better oh. line, which I think they could, I don't know. They don't. Yeah, have to, easily. But if they, then this would this would bump it up for me even still. Um, One of my favorite parts of the line, though, is when you finally get into that final room and you start at the top. I think that's a that's a hype mm -hmm. little like the final loop. Yeah. This is also a ride that you kind of like need to sit in the back, because sitting in the front you don't Ooh, you can't okay. see anything, so it's not really worth it. But if you're in the back, by the time you go down the drop, you're already like kind of hauling ass, and it's it's much more enjoyable. That's a good that's a good point. We'll do that next time. Mm -hmm. uh, Thunder Mountain. Maya. Eight. Eight. Nice. Ethan. Eight. Oh. Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> 19. I have it at 22. Ooh. Ooh. So you guys can go ahead. And... I want to hear you guys. No, I want to hear okay. you guys. Taylor. Which one's these? Which one is this? Yeah. Yeah, it's I was the, thinking the, the same the, thing. <laughs> the runaway, like, mine train through the desert. Oh, oh my yeah. least favorite yeah. of the mountains. <laughs> that makes sense. I mean, nothing against it. Just if I'm going to wait in one of those lines for one of those kind of things, it's, it's probably going to be... Um, Matterhorn or the log one. Yeah. Yeah. Splash Mountain. Yeah. I, I don't have any hate or anything. It just, it is where it is because my least favorite. I, I don't have any hate for it either. I'm actually shocked at 22, to be perfectly honest. It's a very fun ride. Very fun ride. I don't mm -hmm. like, the, I don't need the line. The line does nothing for me. It can't Dude, the be line's too long crazy. at times. Yeah. I feel like it whines and up here and oh, over yeah, there yeah. and down but, there and like the theme of it there's not there's nothing for me to look at i'm just like can we get on this ride um yeah again one that you kind of need to sit in the back like if you're at the front of this ride when you're going down any of the drops you feel yourself being hung up and suspended by the rest of the train and that's not fun like you want to be in the back so you're you just go right into the drops going quickly we, um we rode this at the front last time mm -hmm. and at night and it was a kind of interesting experience. Yeah. Because it, it, it felt like we were on like a runaway train. I was like, oh my God, where are we going? Because you couldn't quite see. Right. Um, this, this ride's grown on me over like 
over time. I never used to really like it, but uh, it's smooth and you get some decent yeah. speed. Um, I do like the Western town theming, although I do wish they could do more with mm-hmm. that. Yeah, it is a good ride. So. It's fun. Yeah. I always enjoy going on it, but it's just one that I don't usually choose to go on unless I have a fast pass or something. So, again, I'm a little surprised at 22 for myself, but must be for good reason. <laughs> Did you have anything to add? I don't have anything to add. I feel like you hit everything there, about how... There's know, not really like a it. lot to say about this ride. Yeah. It's it, very strangely. generic, yeah. but... I appreciate the speed. I love it's the idea fun. of being on a runaway train. That's like, yeah. you know, that just feels fun. It's always fun to be okay. that person, I think, on the right side when you're going around that spinny bit and you just crush mm-hmm. the person next to you. That's always fun. <laughs> Getting crushed. <laughs> um, all right, we're done with the 70s. We're moving on to 1983 with Pinocchio. Taylor? Four. Maya? Thirteen. Ethan? Twenty-one. And I have nineteen. Maya, go ahead. I don't know why I ranked you so high. Did you love Pinocchio? Did you hate people that lie? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just like... I don't know. It was just a fun ride. I like the movie. I think I like the ride because of it. I don't have anything like too much to say. Maybe maybe it would be somewhere else. No, I like where it is actually. Yeah. No, maybe maybe I'm gonna change its rate or rating next time. <laughs> well, that'll yeah. be the fun to see where where things change. Yeah. Um. Ethan. Uh. This is like middle of the pack for Fantasyland for me. Uh, it, it usually has a pretty short wait, which is nice. Yeah. Um, and I, I guess everybody forgets Pinocchio. Um, I appreciate I appreciate Pinocchio. It's one of the earlier movies. I think it's like literally like Snow White and then Pinocchio, if I'm remembering correctly. I have them right um, after each other. Dumbo's nice. pretty old too. Yeah. 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 I think Dumbo was right after that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Jiminy Cricket, Monstro, classic. I don't really like Pinocchio. No. Yeah. The the character, the well, movie, no, or the I was, ride. I was gonna or... say as a person, but like, how rude is that? Like, not as a person. Kind of had a messed up. He's not even a real boy. Yeah, he's not even a real boy. Fake. <laughs> no, but like. Literally sold into slavery. Like... Oh, but like, no, I mean, I just that movie never did anything for me um so yeah. it's probably translating into my ranking of i like all the little character rides so it's not even in the lower part where i would think but it feels pretty accurate for me there's not a huge draw for me when it comes to pinocchio mm-hmm. i don't know if i've ever fully watched the movie i mean it's been forever for me yeah, yeah. like if i did i was younger mm-hmm. and since then when i've been like maybe i should try that again i never finish it it same thing with dumbo I don't super love them, but... Yeah, there's no part this of this ride totally... that, like, sticks out to me that I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get to that part. The other ones, I feel like there is one part where I am excited for, and this ride doesn't have that for me, necessarily. Um, but I do love these dark dark ride, short little, you know, movie adaptation rides. They're yeah. they're just quick and fun, but... I like that, too. I like the quick and fun. Pinocchio was Kobe's favorite Disney movie. Really? Really? Yeah. Damn, why? Interesting, huh? It's OG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Star Tours. My Jordan. Me? Ten. ten? He said ten. I don't know why. Again. Stop. <laughs> just own it. Ethan. You're good. But at- 29. I'm going to go real quick and say 11 so that Taylor can say. Number one. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> I'll uh, go real quick. No. I'll go real quick. No, I'm not shut trying up. to hate on this. No. Taylor, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're saving the hate. Yeah. yeah, save the hate. No, it's not even hate. I'm sure it's not even hate, but I just want to let you go first. It's number, number one. one. Love 
this ride. Oh, I, it is painful to say more than Pirates of the Caribbean because that was, I sat on this one for a long time. I, I think I told him like my number two is the hardest one to do because whatever number two is, number one will be a clear winner, but it is so hard putting this one lower. I love the line, the variation. Um, I like all the little characters. I love the, the thrill that I might be the secret passenger. Still One happened. day <laughs> I will be the secret passenger that they're transporting and my face will go up the there rebel on spy. the thing. Yeah. Like that is so That's fun right. to me. So cool. Um, most of the time I plan my Disney outfit for that ride. Like I'm wearing like a Grogu or I have the backpack of Grogu so I can hold him while I'm on it. And maybe they'll pick me cause I'm transporting him and, I love Star Tours. I love the like 3D, it's not really a ride, but it is. The glasses are a fun aspect. They're, they hurt, but <laughs> get over it, come on. You know, grow up. This is a big boy ride. I love it. Yeah. And the line's not bad. If it starts to get like long no. and unbearable, they move you inside and yeah. there's stuff in there to look at. It's I not, not terrible. I've never felt like the line takes a long time either, no. even if you move into there. Like, it moves pretty Constantly quick. moving, big groups, you can get a lot in. Uh, yeah, I love this ride. I think because I've always loved Star Wars, too. Like, when I was younger, my dad and I really loved Star Wars. This was just always our thing. We're like, let's do this, and my mom will wait outside, you know? Yeah. So, I really like this ride. From one Star Wars lover to another, Ethan, what's up? What's going on? This ride made us sick last time. Okay. Because they didn't give us glasses. Yep. Oh, oh my god, what? And, and, but and I didn't fault it for that. So I don't know I don't you shouldn't did. have, but I feel like I've not ridden it enough. Yeah. Mm. And I feel like the line is, like, I feel like it's often 45 to 60 minutes. Really? And I, I've never had that. No. Maybe since Star Wars <clears throat> Land opened, it's yeah. people forget it's even over there, and it really hasn't been that popular. Because I feel like, yeah, I feel like this should be like twenty minutes, right? Because they push so yeah. many people through. So I, I would say I want... it's usually twenty five thirty. I yeah. feel like I usually, I Max. usually, I know you guys okay. have gone a lot more recently than than we have, but that's what I always remember seeing for that. Maybe I'm in, yeah, and maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I want to. This ride shouldn't be this low. Yeah, I want it to have a redemption story and i'm confident it will have a redemption story come the next time that we rank this because we're going on this tomorrow yeah we have to. yeah we have to but, we have to yeah. fix we need to fix this we have to fix that because you're right yeah. the line is amazing yeah it's awesome Being in the there little with r2 going on or C3PO. Yeah. a little different yeah the, Both the different droids yeah, yeah. i like that little chatty one who's up there calling calling everyone out yeah. what's his name he, he's like I'm pretty sure he's one of those characters, those people that are actually talking to you, right? Like there is a person looking and talking to. Oh, people. I don't know. Like like, uh, an, like a like a, an employee person. Like, like Toy Story. Type of thing. Yeah. 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 Um, Maya. I really love this ride. I feel like Taylor hit everything on the head of like just why you should love this ride. It's a great ride. So. It's fun. I think. I think. Make sure you get the glasses because, like, it will yeah. make you yeah. sick if you don't. And we, yeah, we got sick. It, I'm surprised <laughs> they would even put you on there without, like, what's the point? I, know. I don't know what happened. We yeah. were very confused. Right without we were, it was just you guys, yeah. or like everyone in there didn't have glasses. We were the and they, only, only one, people that yeah. didn't have glasses. I don't know if they ran yeah. out or if they weren't. Maybe it was during COVID and like maybe they I weren't like sanitized it. or something. No, they just they just missed us. They just and missed they us. saw we didn't have glasses and then we I got on. I thought you were supposed to grab like, them yourself. Oh. Uh, yeah. I don't know. They like I don't well, know. I, I don't think remember there what is happened. a section where you walk by and you're grabbing them, but someone at the front always checks. Should, Do you have glasses? Yes. And then they hand them to yeah. you if you don't. But that's um, odd. Hey, this ride makes me sick too, even with glasses. It makes me very sick. Like obviously, a sim any kind of simulator is going to make me sick because I don't know what's about to happen. It's very yeah. off-putting in my like inner ear yeah. kind of the whole system, but it's still awesome. It gets bonus points, as I said, for the variations. Mm -hmm. You never know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they keep updating it. Yeah, It's so yeah. easy to implement yeah. new stuff. You just change yes. the screen and change Kylo the movement Ren. a little bit. Every movie or show yeah. that comes out, they like can add a little yeah. thing, and I think that's awesome. Um, yeah. It used it's to fun. all just be one planned trip back in the day, and it wasn't wasn't as good, but... It's it's a great ride, and I also love that you kind of get dumped out into a cool 
gift shop. I'm kind of I'm excited yes. for Haunted Mansion to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's just commercialism at its finest. I I like it. Hope they can, and I don't think they can. But man, I would rather this be in Star Wars Land. Yeah, I don't think it would make as much sense because, mm -hmm. like, it it it's themed with Tomorrowland. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm torn about that. Me personally, I think it would. I think it would be great in in uh, Galaxy's Edge because I feel like Galaxy's Edge Batu like has become a tourist spot in the world of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. You know, so it makes sense that there would be a Star Tours hub, and whatever happens, whatever mistake, like you leave and come back to Batu because of whatever happened, they can just build that into the the story or something. But it's too hard to move. I can't imagine them doing that. Yeah. I would rather it be there personally, but I, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Isn't, like, Star Wars Land 2, like, a very specific, like, time period? They're tweaking that. I Are they tweaking that? So, I like, think it's supposed I, to be, I think but the reason not it's not there it is, like... Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, you have people well, from all different time periods walking around, I feel like. Yeah. Star Tours is literally the precursor to Disney acquiring Star Wars. I think that's one of the yeah. coolest arts yeah. ever. Yeah. yeah. First IP they put in the park? Yeah. Yeah. Apologies for my ranking. That's okay. Remember this moment. I think we have one of these coming right flipped. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't even Remember know this feeling. Um, <laughs> all right. We're going to another mountain. The last ride of the 80s. Also, rest in peace. Doesn't really exist anymore, but Splash Mountain. Right. Uh, Maya. 16. Ethan. 7. Taylor. 14. Uh, I have it a 4. Uh, I had a 4 up. I don't know how yeah. I knew. Um, yeah. I'll just I'll go real quick. I don't have a lot to say. I thought it was very fun. I, the drop is still scary to this day. Like, it still kind of gets the the butterflies in my in my stomach and my chest because I'm I'm not scared to do it, but just it's an intense drop. Like it's mm -hmm. it's a lot, and I I love doing that. There's also multiple drops throughout the ride. That's a lot of fun. Um, I always loved the music. I used to fall asleep to that music when I was a kid. Like I had the Splash Mountain music on repeat, and just I'd fall asleep to that. Line's a little bit too long. I don't think the theme of the line does anything for me, but the ride itself and the length of the ride and all that, it's great to cool off on a hot day. It's a its a great ride. And I'm excited to see what they Look, have done with it now. Only rode this one time. What? With her. Yeah, because like I had never ridden this, so we like made sure to do that. And we have a picture. And it was awesome. Um, I grew up on the Knott's ride, the Knott's log ride. Uh I didn't even realize Disney had a log ride. Um, <laughs> but I'll just say I love the tightness that they fit this into the space that it's in. How it literally yeah. goes under the bridge and like around. Very cool. And you can like mm -hmm. watch the like drop and go under. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, shout out Splash Mountain. I like this one. It's solid. I don't, you guys kind of hit everything. I don't remember the theme. I just know you get in a log and it's fun. <laughs> we have a good picture. Yeah. I know we got it. We did get a really good picture. Yeah. The pictures from this ride are fantastic. Yeah. 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 You like it? Yeah. Again, it's one of the mountains, so it's a little like non-memorable, but it is. I mean, it's fun. <laughs> it's perfectly in the middle of my list, probably because yeah. that's how I thought of it when I saw it. Yeah. I think one of the first, yeah, one of the first rides I got trained on to work was a log ride so i always like log rides they're really fun get a little wet maybe don't get very wet maybe yeah. depending I don't not me i'm always the one me. who wants to get wet and yeah. i convince everyone in the group to go on and then they're soaked and they look at me and i'm like i was waiting <laughs> i wanted it i promise like damn i'm the one that doesn't want to get wet and i get yeah. soaked <laughs> that's my best friend that's how it. it always is like the whole trip i'm trying to like make her walk fast enough that she's hot enough that she's like fine we can do it maybe yeah. i'll get wet her biggest thing is she doesn't want her socks to get wet and then somehow oh, she gets yes. like the biggest puddle legs down and i'm like i'm trying to cover her top half but it literally only hits her bottom uh, and i do not get wet at all i'm like 
I don't know, dude. I tried. <laughs> I'm fine with everything getting wet except my feet. That's yep. That's a nightmare. I always take extra socks now. Oh yeah, smart. And I had to use them last time we did the grizzly. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, yeah. Well, Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I'm very excited. Oh. Obviously, the ride itself is gonna be the same, but I'm excited to see how they theme it and animatronic it. This is another one of those rides where like the animatronics, some of them were just off for the last like really <laughs> five plus years. Uh. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's not great. It was weird. It felt kind of kind of dead. So I hope they... I mean, obviously, they took those out, and I hope they don't do that anymore. Um, okay, first ride of the 90s is Indiana Jones. Taylor. Wow. 21. That's Oops, Maya. that is Maya. Maya? 9. Ethan? 6. I have it at 17. Go ahead, anybody who wants to go first. Ethan, go ahead. You have the highest. I like the line. I like yeah. the theme. I like that they finally fixed it. Um, because the first few times that I went on it, it didn't work. Like, everything was busted. And they really? finally did, like, a map. Like, the boulder didn't move and stuff. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I uh I I feel like this ride is very unique. And I think I like that. It's a very yeah. different experience. The line's always way too long, so this is like the perfect fast pass ride. Um we've been pulled off of this ride. The fast pass does nearly and, nothing and too. Well really? It only cuts out the bad part because it meets up when you go into the temple. And then from there mm -hmm. the line is the line quality is good. But that's where you join up with the rest of the line. So you don't have to zigzag through that whole outdoor part, at least. Yeah. But it it there's still a lot of line left once you do the fast pass. Well. There you go. Maya? Okay, I will go next. I feel like if you would have asked me like what my favorite ride one of my favorite rides was when I was a kid at Disneyland, I think I would have picked Indiana Jones. Just because, like, I remember the ride being longer than it is now. I think, like, my ranking has a lot to do with, like, nostalgia for this ride. And, like, just when it, you know, came out in the 90s and stuff. So Yeah. Um, or is it 80s? 90s. It was the first ride of the 90s. It was the first 95. ride of the 90s? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. It was just... It was fun. I like that they did fix it. I like that the temple part of the line, not really the outside part, especially Same. when it's hot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I love the boulder. I love like the whole, I liked the movie too. So I loved Indiana Jones. So I think, like I said, I think my ranking is based more on like just nostalgia when that movie came out, when the ride came out, when, you know, yeah, just good feelings. Yeah. And my ranking is based on feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Taylor? I don't super love it. I'm not yeah. super into Indiana Jones. I don't... The the line is always long or it's closed. The ride is closed to me. That's the experience yeah, I've had. Yeah, it breaks down a lot. Yeah. Um, I think it's kind of fun. For, I, I, I don't know why. Completely separate parks, separate whatevers. But Indiana Jones is in direct competition with the mummy ride to me and the no. mummy wins yeah because even the line is very similar to me like you're going to totally. get into that temple they got the emotep thing. emotep yeah so um my grandpa actually worked on indiana jones he helped like oh. when it was being constructed i forgot it. about that yeah. that's so cool my grandma will tell you all about it like what what he was dealing with exactly and like he worked on it for a few months and i he used to speak really highly about like the enjoyment, like the reward of everyone enjoying this ride, really loving yeah. this ride. He loved that. Like, but I, it's, it's just, I think that's even why it's as high as it is yeah. just because I have that kind of little memory. But other than that, yeah, I just, I don't, not one of my particular favorites. I have no hates towards it. hate towards it. I'm just also not one of the Indiana Jones people. I, I want to like those movies so bad because I know they're really good. My dad super likes them. I just, I'm bored. Eh. I love so in, I love Indiana Jones. Ethan knows I love Indiana Jones. Um, mm -hmm. 
I uh, I can only imagine in the 90s this ride probably blew people's minds, like with the hydraulics within the car itself. Like they do a really good job of making you feel like you're on like a crazy like rocky road and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I love that it feels like its own separate Indiana Jones adventure. Like it pulls from some things from the movies, but it does feel like a separate like standalone thing. I remember as a kid thinking that the fire below the bridge was real lava and I was terrified about that. I remember being terrified of the boulder thinking it was going to crush me every single time. I didn't understand how they did it. Um, it's pure Indiana Jones, but yeah. it, uh, yeah, it's good. My, my ranking will come down in the future. I felt, I felt compelled by hype. For some reason, yeah. compelled by hype. Because I feel like I feel like it has more weight in my mind than it does in my heart. Does Sorry. that make sense? Yeah, especially like maybe now. But like I said, if you asked me when I was a kid what my favorite ride was, I probably would have said Indiana Jones. Okay. Um, moving on to our first Toontown ride with Roger Rabbit. Maya, go ahead. Mm -hmm. 11. Ethan? 25. Taylor? 20. I have it at 23. Maya, go ahead. Why do you like it? Oh, I you love this ride. I love the movie. I oh, feel like sure. I'm such a sucker. Like, if I love the movie, then I'm so biased towards the ride. Like, right. So, I don't think they're... I don't know. I think it's fun. I think it's fun being in the car and, like, Going through Roger Rabbit, like in just the town and everything, and seeing the characters, and I don't know. I'm a fan. I love, yeah. Probably I'm, I'm biased real, again because I like the movie. Yeah. I'm going to go real quick and say I'm actually surprised I have this this low because it's a very good line. Very, mm -hmm. very good, like themed line. Decently mm -hmm. length ride for, for what mm -hmm. it is. You can spin yep. the car. There's so much to yep. look at. There's so many colors and like characters and mm -hmm. sounds and it's it's very fun i don't know why i have it so low probably just because i never go on it i never choose but when i do yeah. it's always fun so it sh probably should be higher yeah to piggyback on that i think that's the same thing i said 20 and i was like really because i love toontown i like the mm -hmm. like aesthetic of it i love the cartoony kind of thing i think i just gravitate towards like cutesy little like you can tell they're animated things um, and this is one of my favorites in that area. So I'm, I'm surprised it says low too, but probably the same reason. I just don't really gravitate towards the, that area for the rides. I honestly go there for the like aesthetic, the feeling there's normally a load of children yeah. and parents. Like it's very chaotic in that area. So yeah. if you don't have kids, you're kind of like, should we even, um, but I, yeah, I really mm -hmm. like this ride. This one's, I think, one of my favorites in that area. Yeah. Yeah, you can practically walk on it, I think, right before Toontown closes. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Um, which, is, which is pretty easy. Uh, I don't know if I've seen the movie. I think I've only seen parts of the movie. Um, oh, you guys got but watch it's, it. I yeah. know. <laughs> uh, it's good. I, I love the, how long it's been there. Like, yeah. it's kind of like OG Toontown. Mm -hmm. uh, and it came out, like, when we were kids so uh yeah it's a good it's one of the only two rides i'll go on in toontown so well that. okay next up i'm very curious what everyone's going to say about chippendale's coaster i don't think it started as chippendale coaster it was like the gadget coaster or something like mm -hmm. that but yeah. the ride itself is the same that's why i didn't like put it on here multiple times or whatever but yeah chippendale coaster maya where do you have it I have it 32 because I don't think we've ever ridden it. So I have okay. no idea what it's like. Um, I like the cartoon. Yeah. Ethan? Like I grew up watching Chip and Dale. So. 35. I've never been on it. 27. And I have it at 28. I'll just go real quick and say this ride is not yeah. worth the line that it always has. It is a it is wow. a line like you have to. It's probably thirty minutes at all times, probably. But that's because it's a very good kids roller coaster. I don't know if I'd take Blake on it. He'd probably mm -hmm. be terrified. But like for a kid, it's a very fun, 
quick roller coaster and it always has way too long of a line to make it worth going on but it's a quality ride for what it is and you guys haven't been on it so yeah i don't i don't yep. super love it it reminds me i don't even know the name of it but in california adventure there's that little coaster where you're also you're outside you're sitting in the car it's by like the corn dog Goofy's stand fly school yeah Mahala madness i don't love those like I, I maybe it's the being outside i don't really buy into any of the stuff that's going on around me super long line it's it doesn't appeal to me at all really honestly i forget it's even a rideable ride like it seems like one of those things they shouldn't let Same. adults on just let the kids do it yeah like, we don't honestly that's <laughs> what i thought i didn't think i was like allowed to go on it you're right like That's if you're over 48 they're like just don't bother it's not yeah casey yeah. yeah. jr the same thing that's why they're my last two i'm like am i even allowed on these right rides? yeah 100 percent. so yeah guys aren't missing much but i guess write it at some point in your life maybe if the line's yeah. short <laughs> yeah 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 like, it's Perfect. not even one of those ones where i feel obligated to say like you gotta write it just in case like it you, yeah. you'll ride it someday to take you know your kid on it or something I'm they have sure. a snoopy yeah. ones of that at at knott's berry they yep. have a small one of those mm-hmm. like at every park it's it, it looks like it's for kids <laughs> yeah the small one at knott's was my first roller coaster ever yeah nice mm-hmm. and the only one i could handle for a good minute you always see those like really small janky like puzzle piece together roller coasters at the fair or something no. And this is not that. Like, this is a legitimate, yeah. quality, mm-hmm. small, okay. bite sized, kid sized roller coaster. And I, I appreciate it for that. Um, okay, jumping back over to Tomorrowland with Astro Orbiter, Maya. It's another one that, like, I just don't have anything to say because I haven't been on it. So okay. I ranked it 34. Okay. Ethan? I put it at 23. 23. Taylor? Um, I'm confused because I have 36 things, but I don't see Astro Orbiter, right? Yeah. Tell me. I have 36. You have Buzz Lightyear on there twice. Oh, that's prob- this uh, one. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 31. She had Astro Blasters, but it's Astro Orbiter. That makes sense. Okay, and then I uh, have uh, yeah. I have 33. Um, this is the last of my bottom four of rides that just spin. But <laughs> yeah. it's, it's futuristic and spacey, so I put it one above Dumbo. Uh, That's funny. That is so funny. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and piggyback real quick, just... I have it literally flipped where this is just below Dumbo because they are the same ride to me, but this has no Disney theme to me. Yeah. So Dumbo gets a point higher for being Dumbo, but <laughs> Astro Orbiter, it's like, what's up? Yeah. What's going on here? I've, I've never been on the ride, so I don't have anything to say. It, it sounds like you guys would like it. If you yeah. like Dumbo so much, you would like this ride. It's also yeah. a little more terrifying because it like it tilts to the side a bit so you always yeah. feel like you're gonna fall out <laughs> Ooh, I you like can that. raise it, it and like lower it it's... i, I want to go on this i the, the only reason i have it a little higher is i like it as tomorrowland is struggling yeah and i like it as like the entrance to tomorrowland i feel like it has a good look it has a good vibe um aesthetic and they've like included it in that like concept art for like the new entrance to Tomorrowland. So mm-hmm. I purely like it aesthetically. You can see it, you know where you're going. And I'd like them to continue actually that theme throughout Tomorrowland. Yeah. Because it's that's kinda how the Paris one is. Uh, I'm sad that the uh the rocket rods aren't there anymore. I feel like they gave a similar kind of vibe of futuristic kind of just like, whoa, what was that? Um yeah. it was very fun too. Um, what does the new intro the, to Tomorrowland look like, or what the con- concept you guys are talking about? Oh, I don't know. It's just you concept know. art they posted. Is, for, and there, they're not even. They're gonna change it. I can't think. I'm super bad at this. But are there newer like Disney movies that are like Wally? Could you do like a Wally type of thing where it makes sense and it's like Pixar. futuristic and looks so, like Pixar? Yeah, see, I'm I'm hard at separate. I don't no. really know, but like, that's fine. I'm wondering if there is like 
I'm not opposed to but it. Buzz I do Lightyear's like Pixar too. Yeah, I do like the idea of like the look of it and it being that is the theme throughout that area. I dig it. I I was just wondering if there's something yeah. new they can tie it into a movie to make it feel like it's connecting somewhere uh, or doing something. From what I can think of, there's not a whole lot of like recent futuristic Disney stuff that they could tap into, but Wally's a good one. I don't I can't think of what it would be at the moment, but is Wa- Wally's Pixar though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's fine. So is Buzz. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's um, true. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wally would be cool. Maybe like a haunted mansion type ride where you're just like going through the ship, and like it's oh that would be you're, super you're cool. in you're Dude, in they, those things. You're in those like, little, hover, like things. hover things. A little pop, and that's they literally like, have the go ahead. The giant sorry. building. No, they literally have the giant building at yeah, the end. Do yeah. some yes, do something with that. Yeah. I always like going in there, but it's not it's not worth being there. I don't think. No. Um. Yeah, I agree. It's a good focal point for for Tomorrowland. Um, I also, while we were talking about that, I figured out what my last place is going to be, and I'm excited to talk I don't. about that. <laughs> okay. Maybe it's both of yours. I forget if we've done Ethan's. Um, Mine was Casey Jr. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's do Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Taylor, you go first. Four. Nice. Maya? Twenty one. Ethan? 32. Oh. I have a 14. I'm surprised. I should have so I should have put it higher. I'm happy you do. I love it. Yeah, no, it's great. I love I it. I am too. too. I am so mad because Critter Country is closed and I haven't been able to go on it and I've been really wanting to go on it. Okay. Mm. So Taylor, tell me how I'm, tell me what I'm missing. It's out very on. cute. Yeah. Tell, yeah I think it's it. really cute. Um yeah. Winnie the Pooh feels very like I'm a kid. Um, and mm-hmm. it's, it, correct me, is it always a quick line? The fastest line I was line about to park. say, I think it's, that's why it's like, it's so high because at any point, if we are walking past it, it's like, should we just three minutes hop on real quick? And we do, we walk right on, very fun. Um, they do like some of the neon section too, I think. Right? Oh yeah, there's yeah. a whole acid trip like, section. a whole acid trip ride. section, love that, like, I, I'm I'm into that. I love the characters yeah. and then the random so feeling of Alice in Wonderland, but in all those things. Totally. Like, because Alice in Wonderland is very like you're acid tripping the whole time. So I kind of love when you're on Mr. Toads and Winnie the Pooh and all these, and you're feeling like this feels like you were trying to have the get the adults to have some fun, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ride <laughs> yeah. parks for the kids, the characters are for the kids, but everything going around, it's like yeah, this is kind of cool. I, like I like Winnie the Pooh. Like this might surprise you, but we took her godson on this ride too and i think it this one scared him also yeah. so like you probably wouldn't expect that from way the Pooh, but like it's kind of intense honestly at a certain point he, he's i mean he is like he's sensitive when it comes to loud noises specifically in the dark like movie theaters are really hard yeah. for him he brings he- headphones Ooh. because he wants to drown it out a little bit so it's not so loud because it's dark he's kind of yeah. scared so yeah. it, it makes sense but i think there is a part where like he liked it at first, yeah. like going in and the honeybees got some pictures. I think he was stuff. fine, yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. I was bummed that he didn't super love it because I wanted him to just want to go back in yeah. line and go on it again. Maya, did have you ridden it? Yeah. Okay. It's twenty one, so for me. Um I love I love Winnie the Pooh. It's a good vibe. Um I don't know. You guys kinda hit the nail on the head with everything you need to know about that ride. So I'm surprised we haven't ridden it. I'm sad. I know. Yeah, it's closed. It should be opening soon. Yeah. So I was gonna say do it tomorrow. Like it, honestly, there's yeah. never an excuse to not go yeah. on it if you just want to ride it's something. So quick. My first Critter movie Country in theaters was closed. the Tigger movie. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, my first movie in theaters ever was the Tigger movie, and I I love Winnie the Pooh. So cute. That's crazy. He is fantastic. Um. Okay. This love is our him. first ride variation. But Haunted Mansion Holiday Edition. Maya. Three. Ethan. Three. Taylor. Five. What's happening? Wow. I have it at 21. I'm sorry, guys. (laughs) I brought it down. Why don't you go first? (laughs) All right, I'll go first. Uh, well, I mean, Haunted Mansion's my number one, so I'm not going to have this at number two, because I like other rides for different reasons, and I don't like this one as much. It's, like, it's too bright. I kind of like the dark creepiness, and this is 
obviously going to be a little bit more cheery in like a twisted kind of way. Uh, line's always way too long. It's not worth it to me. I've never been the biggest Nightmare Before Christmas fan. So, like, Jack and Sally don't really do it for me. I love Zero. I love that they put Zero in there in place of the, like, the candlestick thing. Um, but it's a great reskin of a ride. It's just not worth the wait for me. Fair. See, I, I think it's interesting you did Haunted Mansion 1 and then this 21, because that was my dilemma, too, because I had this at 3. And even, I didn't want to put Haunted Mansion 12, but I was like, eh, it's going to get lifted up by by this at 3. Right. Um, I love Christmas, so sign me up. Right. I had the Nightmare, the Haunted Mansion Nightmare Before Christmas ranked 3, and then I had Haunted Mansion ranked 5. You guys... You yeah, guys, you guys put unnecessary restrictions yeah. on yourself. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I was That's gonna all say, I'm gonna say. <laughs> I think my haunted mansion was six, and this is five. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, you take a take away all the the fluff. The ride's the same, I guess, to me. You know, and I I that that signifies the park is decorated halloween or christmas it is mm -hmm. that time of the year mm -hmm. everything's a little mm -hmm. different fun the merch has pumpkins mm -hmm. everywhere like that reminds me of just you want to go to disneyland while that is in the park because that's when the park is at its most magicalness to me I, they do all the extra lights the extra shows the yeah. I, I don't know i think that's what put I it love the above. song too yeah on the ride yeah. in the nightmare before christmas dun, 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 one yeah dun, 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 dun. I, I had never yeah, seen that fun. movie until last this, this last year or whatever oh yeah we watched it oh, i had never seen it but the ride movie. had always been a pull to me where i was like i gotta watch this yeah. movie but yeah. yeah everyone always told me the music in the movie was so good that don't watch it unless you're sitting there watching it and i didn't have yeah. time to do that till last year and the, the movie yeah. wasn't it's not as iconic as like I think it would have been if I had seen it younger and fallen in love with it, but it is still really good. I think it's a cool concept. I like when Disney does a little dark. Oh yeah. I think that that's necessary. Like there is still those people who are gothed out and stuff with the like ears and whatever. And it just, it makes me feel like there's a little bit for everyone. For sure. Yeah. I always want to watch a nightmare before Christmas, like around Halloween. I was going to say <laughs> Halloween or Christmas. Yeah, and it's it's always I want to watch it towards the end of Halloween, of course. But it's I feel it's, like things get so busy towards the end of Halloween that I'm like, yeah. okay, I I don't want to I don't want Halloween to pass us by and us not watch that movie. So I always right. try to get Ethan to watch it, and he just never lets me watch it. Ah, so it's yeah. been years that I haven't watched it, and he introduced me like before I met you. I've never I had never seen that movie, so you introduced me to the movie. And then now you don't let me watch yeah. it. I, I so watch the closest it. I can get is the Haunted Mansion ride. You can watch it anytime. Right. Uh, I think it's the perfect blending of the two holidays. I think it's probably a good thing mm -hmm. to watch on Halloween to usher you into That's what I was going to say. Season. I think it's like a perfect movie while you're changing decorations. Yeah. You're taking down the all bridge. the pumpkins yeah. and stuff like that. And you're starting to put up the wreaths and the Christmas stuff. Like it, it is a great movie, a good concept. I mean, it's Fun. literally, it's Halloween town. He's the pumpkin king. Like, yeah. you can watch it in Halloween. He's, he's still Santa Claus and ha does Christmas himself. Yeah. So watch it in Christmas. Who knows? Watch it twice. Who cares? I offered, I offered four times last year for her to watch it. And she rejected me every time. So you can't blame me. <laughs> We're getting a plot twist. Like, Not true. Yes. Yeah. Do you think you'll ever, we'll ever get a sequel to that? No, I think they talked about it, but I think it got shot down. Really? It would not surprise yeah. me anymore. With Beetlejuice coming back so right. late. Right. Like, like, I would love a sequel. I think it would do really well. Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Maya. Buzz Lightyear at seven. Ethan? Nine. Taylor? Eighteen. And I have it at eight. Oh. Let's go first. This ride causes disagreements between us he's always trying to explain while i'm in the line if you hit these things are worth more points and you see this it's literally telling you if you hit this one you get more points and then every time within like two minutes of the game there it's an 
impossible gap. I can't close it. There's I, I could hit all of the special targets and completely block his gun. And I don't know. That game hates me. Every time I'm like, I swear I'm hitting it right there. That's just one of those games. It's hard. Not fun for me. I'm competitive. So when I can't find a way to be like, okay, now I think I got it. I've ridden this ride so many times with him. Every time in the picture, you can tell I'm pissed. Like when we get the picture at the end, he's always emailing it to himself because I'm like literally hand in front of his gun trying to do it. And uh. I always let whoever I'm with, they can steer the the car. You can spin it. I don't care. I don't need it. I'm just going to do my thing. I, I don't get what's so hard about this ride. Which makes it more painful. <laughs> Which makes it more painful. He's like, I didn't even touch it. You could have turned it. I'm like, I don't, I can't live action do it. It's too too much. Yeah, she, she just aggressively spins me out every time <laughs> to try to stop me from getting any points. I still, I'm not that yeah. good. I struggle with this one. I'm always like, why am I not getting it? She but, could be. Yeah. It's a little janky. It's <laughs> not like this a ride 100% is not yeah. solid system, yeah. but it's it's that adds a little fun to it too. It's a little bit random. Yeah. There's some secrets. We're competitive, you know, so. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Me too. I, it, has, it usually has one of those shorter waits, too. Yeah. It when it, I won't wait for this. Yeah. I won't no. wait more than fifteen minutes for this. You have to at least just be able to spin walk him around, indoors. Baylor. Yeah. Yeah. Well, exactly. I do. I think I hit just... a point where I start to spin it, but then I can't replace yeah. where I need to be. Like. Yeah, she ends up she ends up hurting herself trying to stop me. You should just focus <laughs> on getting your points. But it's like it's really cool that we get like more Buzz Lightyear of Star Command too, which we don't mm -hmm. usually get to see. Yeah. It's always him as the toy. This is him in like his real universe, so that's kind of fun. Well, now with the movie, can they? Yeah. What? Change this? Lightyear? No. Did you honestly? I, I want them. No, not yet. I want them to refresh this. The line needs some love. Like, it just needs yeah. a little bit of. Mm. Feels old. It does. It it. Even though it's one of the newer rides, it feels old. Yeah, true. It's 20 years old now. Yeah. Which is crazy. Um, all right. <laughs> Honestly, okay, we could have put multiple iterations of this upcoming ride, except we have not ridden them all. So I've only okay. put things on this list that we've all had the opportunity yeah. to ride. I don't think we've mm -hmm. all ridden the original submarines. I might have. I don't even remember. But the final. I was wondering were why these only... why these didn't come up. Really, mm -hmm. like the original yeah. ones? Yeah, mm -hmm. I just I wouldn't be able to speak to it at all. I don't think you ever rode them. I don't know. I mean, like, we all went My... to Disneyland. You know, maybe I, you guys at least went maybe a couple times as a kid <laughs> um, that we could have ridden it. But anyways, Maya, where would you put the submarines? Okay. I think that where I have this is the right place to have it. Okay. And so, and I think if you have it anywhere else, you're <laughs> wrong. <laughs> like, um, this is the proper place to put it, and it's 36. It okay. is the worst. Other rides I have not ridden are better than this ride. <laughs> like, okay. I can't think of anything worse. Imagine I'll, having to imagine. I'll speak more to this in a second. <laughs> imagine having to drive be like the driver on this ride too right yeah. that would be just like the worst job ever i think <laughs> i have this at 34 second. 34 okay taylor 32 i have it at 24 <laughs> um maybe Maya. it's more fun to drive it it's very well, you guys are all it. wrong it's... Yeah. Okay. All the reasons that Maya is probably about to explain why she hates it are not applicable to driving the submarine. <laughs> and I'll talk about that when I go. But and why, why do you hate this ride? Okay. It's just, it's claustrophobic. It's tight. It's not worth the line. Even though I don't think the line is ever very long for it. I could be wrong. I don't know. I just don't even look at this ride when I pass by it. Like, I just don't. Yeah. It's just not, it's, I don't think it's, like, worth going on at all. Yeah, it's just too tight. Yeah. So, I had I had this one just a little bit higher. I get anxious every time I go on this, just being trapped under the water. I will say, though, I love that this ride exists. Same. I love that there is a giant water area with submarines. Like, that's just such a cool concept. 
I don't need to go on it. I can ride the monorail above it and look down in there and whatnot. Um, so I'm happy this ride exists. It just freaks me out to go on it every time. Yeah. And I will add, my first memory of this, I thought mermaids were real. Because they had well, mermaid human people real. Yeah. in the water. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, mermaids are real. No, I've, <laughs> I've seen mermaids before. Like, Disneyland why are people trying to tell me they're not real? Yeah. It smells like feet. Yeah. <laughs> feet. Yes. I, how did I miss that? And sweat. And it smells and like everything that shouldn't smell in Disney because they're all about like popcorn and cheese and beautiful magic. They put it all into those submarines. Like there's pumps just pumping it into those boats and that's the air you get or something. It's gross. I feel hot in there. The seats are not comfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like Ugh. it should look more Nemo-y. Like it kind of looks like regular water and you're down there i would like it to be like artificially blue like the ocean like you look like you're in the cartoon or something i know that's kind of mm -hmm. my own thing but it smells no, terrible it feels terrible i don't want to be there yeah. and yeah no 36 is pretty accurate if there weren't rides i just wish didn't exist at all i like that it's at least a character I am sure, like, it's cool when you're younger and you're not as in tune to your other senses, but as an adult, disgusting. Yeah. My kid asked me to go on this. I would probably, like, try and find yeah. an adult who I trusted to take them on it because I really don't want to go. I really don't. It might be one of those rides I tell them not today. Like, it's gross. This ride's crazy. I'm with Ethan. I, I appreciate this ride. I think it's awesome that it's there. It's one of the most unique you're on a literal, actual, real submarine. Um, it's probably one of the most dangerous rides. Like, you have to step onto a boat that is kind of moving. Like, it's only tied in place. It's not actually mechanically stuck in place. You go down these stairs. Uh, you're trapped in a giant tunnel that if there's a fire or something, like, everyone is in a lot of danger. Um, this ride, more than any other ride in Disney is completely up to the driver in terms of your experience of it because I could push the lever forwards and haul ass through the entire thing and you're going to miss all the cutscenes and like all the the music and audio cues are not going to trigger correctly like it is on me to make sure your experience is as it's as it's supposed to be feathering that speed throughout the entire way it's very 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 unique and I I like it for that uh reason I, I like agree. That. It's very yeah. claustrophobic and uncomfortable, um, but it's it's cool. Having having driven it and all the other stuff, would you go on this as a, just a park goer? I have, yeah, not very often, but every so often I'm like, yeah, I want to I want to experience that again. But okay. it's not like oh, I need to go on that every single time. Like once is good for yeah. at least five years, and. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say a year. Okay, five years. Uh, yeah, Fair. no, it's yeah. not not very often. But <sighs> they yeah. kept saying that we're gonna close it down and do something else with it, and they still haven't. So we'll see if that ever happens. No, nah, they're not going to. Two OG. Two OG. Um, okay, moving on to the other side of yeah. uh, Tomorrowland, Hyperspace Mountain. Maya. I have it at thirty-one. Ethan. 30. Eight. I have it at 15. Taylor? I like it. I like it better than regular Space Mountain. Uh, wouldn't wouldn't really wait for either of them, but they're dope. Yeah. I thought it was a cool little variation. One of the few I actually, like, remember or notice. Sometimes I'm too in my own head to even notice that there's, like, a difference or something. Yeah. And I thought that was really fun. Doesn't sound like you guys like it that much. I don't even know why. I don't remember which one this is. This version offends me. Why? Why? I like classic Space Mountain with the classic music. I don't like doing Space Mountain and they're like, here's a random TIE fighter uh, oh, okay. like lit up a holograph thing. I'm like, no, this is this is 
maybe the music is cool, but I don't even remember But the Space Mountain music's iconic. Yeah. It just feels like, I don't even remember what's on the, re- like, while you're on it. It's supposed to be dark. You're not supposed to even be seeing stuff. So the fact that they're adding stuff and it's like weird Star Wars static things, I think it would be cooler if they actually like totally revamped it and made it like you were in a Star Wars battle, like going through space. But it's just like, here's a little random hologram. Like, I don't know. It, it's not memorable to me. I will probably never go on Hyperspace Mountain again. Is it like, I'll, I'll wait to write it, it when it's ready. It comes and goes. Like, I don't know, once a it year, might maybe, be over. It, it it comes back. It's not that hard for them to implement, implement it. Like, yeah. like yeah. say, it's just projecting the TIE Fighters on the screen and changing the music. They don't physically really have to change that much. So, yeah, it, it yeah. comes and goes, depending on if there's, like, a big Star Wars event and it's the year of, or I forget what they call it, Air of the Force or something like that throughout all of yeah. Tomorrowland. Um, I, I'm the same. Like, it... I don't need the Space Mountain aspect, or the, sorry, the Star Wars aspect of it, but it's still Space Mountain, which is a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys remember or ever rode, but there was Space Mountain Ghost Galaxy, which was like the Halloween version of it, which was also very cool, but it was like, it was Space Mountain, but it was darker and silent, I think. Like, there wasn't music. It was just like eerie, and it was like you were just floating Ghost Galaxy. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of creepy. So this is like kind of in the middle of those two for me. Um, okay. I don't have it on here because again, like it's been so long since that came out, and I don't think we've all written it. But uh, yeah, it's fun. I like it. Um, all right, we got three Star Wars rides in a row. Actually, we're moving on to Smuggler's Run from 2019. Maya. Millennium Falcon. Mm. Oh. Okay. 22. Oh, wow. I have it at 26. I also have it at 26. And I have it at 25. That's pretty unanimous. Yeah. Between us. Anyone have anything to say about this one? I love the ride. I love the animatronic guy. I I even like the theme of, like, your, of Hondo, but, like, the Falcon is parked and you're going into this depot. Like, I think the theming and everything is great. Walking into the Falcon, getting to sit in the Millennium Falcon. Amazing. They just... Slightly drop the ball with the mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. And even part of the mechanics are good. But the other part is not. I think that's why I ranked it, like, 22 and not, like... I, I was even thinking about ranking it somewhere in the 30s because it's not a ride we ever want to go on because the risk of getting either the engineering or the mechanic job is like so stupid. Like if yeah. you're not one of the, if you're not a pilot, um, it's not or worth co- riding. Yeah. Or a co-pilot. Like, is it, is it yeah. mechanic or is it gunman? gunman. I don't know. We'll just click a button. Those are, yeah, those are the two jobs. Engineer and, and, and gunman. Yeah. Gunman is it just gunman? pushing a okay. button on the wall, which is lame. Yeah. yeah. There, yeah. God, it could have been so cool. That's yeah. what bothers me. Give yeah. me a joystick. Let me actually fire. Yeah. Give me like six or seven like engineering buttons. Like, oh, this needs to be fixed. And oh, this, yeah. this the shields, the this, like. Yeah. It, it would, could save this ride. It would have been cool to be a pilot and maybe have like one or two gunmen where like your seat actually like moves and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you wouldn't feel like there was this 50 50 chance of either getting like a good or a yeah. <laughs> but unfortunately no. like it's a simulator so i feel like they have to have yeah. everyone facing forward so they don't get sick or like get thrown around too much like everyone kind of still has to be facing yeah. forwards and you just kind of do something which sucks um yeah we... i don't really have anything to say we've written it yeah mm-hmm. yeah i don't i don't like this ride that much even as the pilot yeah. which i think i've done once I feel like I'm fighting yeah. a dream. Like, it doesn't really respond to me that well. Also, I'm only controlling one through. aspect yeah. of it. I'm up and down, and the other person is side to side, so I don't even feel like I'm doing that much. Like, I'm relying on this person yeah. doing the other half of the piloting. I, I don't know. And this is why we, we have to take turns, and I still haven't been able to do this, but I want to control both. I want to be I want to control side to side and up to down and see if that makes the experience better. Yeah. And then you get like so. this weird arbitrary score at the end that I don't feel any pride in or like I actually contributed to. 
Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's a little weird. I feel like it can be yeah. fixed, but it's not. It's yeah. not great. Um, yeah. I feel like it needs to be fixed for yeah. because it is a Star Wars ride, and it was the first Star Wars ride in Star Wars Land, right? Yeah. Like that was. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. bad. It's yeah. the Falcon. Yeah. Um, the next Star Wars ride in Star Wars Land is Rise of the Resistance. Maya. This is going to shock everyone that went on the ride with me. <laughs> One. That does shock me, actually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One. Holy crap. All right. I I'll, I have it at seven. And Taylor, where'd you put it? 34. <laughs> 34. Have you been on it yet? Yes, I have, Ethan, and I I don't respect that question even because I'll give you an in-depth review. I have been on the ride, as one may say. I've been seated. I've seen yes, the aesthetic. Okay, I've thought. started it. I have tried to get on this ride numerous times. Eight eight times, maybe. Let's just say eight times. Ooh. I have made it through the entire line to the cart or to whatever you want to call that little thing one time because every other time within 30 minutes of being in line and wasting my time it closes down or they stop it for whatever reason yeah i finally make it on and i don't know what the issue was they stop it within moving five feet and they walk me through the rest of it so i've now seen it i'm seeing everything go on but i'm not getting to ride it I see them all up there. I see everything. I would consider that that is an honest review of riding the ride. If you cannot get it operable to a point where I have a season pass and I've been 20 times this year and it has not been functioning to a point where I can make it through the line, through the ride, 34, get it together. <laughs> You're going to put that in Star Wars land and it doesn't work? You overshot. You don't put a ride in that doesn't work from start to finish one day. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> when you have Star Tours, come on. Star Tours did it right. There you I'm just saying. Yep. Yeah, I feel it. It's never broken. I've been, been there through it. all of that, so I, I, yeah. I understand her pain. Yeah, it, it sucks if, like, you're going there for, if you get a three-day pass or you, you get a one-day pass to Disneyland, because, like, the chances of this ride being broken down is really high, and that really sucks. They, yeah, they and the line is also it. really long. So, I, like, they, like when you wait in the line, you're just increasing your chances yes, of it of breaking. It down. Breaking, and yeah. then they give <laughs> yeah. you a fast pass. They give you something so that you can come back, yeah. but the ride never goes back up for the day where you don't get to use it, and that pass is then gone. Like I don't get to come back next time and be like, "Hey, this broke the last time I was here." It it is what it is, and they never get it back up that same day where it is literally pointless to give these people come back to the front of the line passes. And if you do, it's a hundred people. I'm then waiting in the same line I was in because you're giving all of us fast passes to come back between eight and eight fifteen. Well, what's wrong with you? Anyways, number ones, let's hear it. Sorry about that. <laughs> we will we will get that corrected. That will get fixed. I think they're I think, I think it's, it's gotten better already. I think it's getting better. <laughs> yeah. Um because we've been able to ride it. We did get passes every time. No. No. So we did the we did the fast the the single whatever fast pass and that is like literally incredible cuz you walk right onto the ride. Yeah. It's like amazing. So it might be worth it to do that. But we were also You mean the ones you paid in... for? Yeah. 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 Okay. We, we were in First huh? of all, shouldn't have to pay to get on the ride. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I, I, I hear you. I understand. Yeah. I know there's other places. I'm we didn't want to. It was a day I'm, we didn't want to wait. I'm into her in anger, line. honestly. But like, yeah. yeah. Again, that that is one of the few paid fast passes, which is just which infuriating. It's ne as a necessity. Yeah. yeah. To guarantee you will ride that ride the moment when you are there, mm -hmm. you have to pay for it. Yeah. Otherwise, you well, run the risk. Yeah. It still gets up to some of the highest wait times, and it's crazy because Cars does too, mm -hmm. and that's the only other paid yeah. individual one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but we did get really lucky and, uh, it was like, it said 40 minute wait and 15 minutes from entering the line we were on in the car. Nice. And I couldn't believe it. So it's, I'd say it's getting better, but I, I honestly, like, it's probably, you're, you're probably gonna, 
get screwed over again. I just feel like that's kind of in the cards right now. Mm -hmm. yep. Say that. Give her hope. <laughs> No. There is no, no hope. hope. Can we talk no about new hopes? Can we talk about how Maya famously hated this ride the first time we got off of it? Yes. yes. She's like, mm, no. <laughs> What's up with that? I didn't like that. Day two, day two of it opening. I think the more I've ridden it, the more I've like really enjoyed it. So I think I didn't hate it the first time I read it because like I loved the line. I loved seeing yeah. like the stormtroopers there. Uh, I remember being afraid when, or like that was just damn. Yeah. When you first see them, like, oh boy, there's a lot of them. Um, I think I just didn't enjoy the maybe storyline the first time, but it's really grown on me. Yeah. So I see new stuff every time now. Yeah. You've ridden it multiple times is insane to me. That feels like privilege. Like <laughs> I, I don't know what pass I'm paying for. What what's going on there? But. That's crazy. Yeah. That one person gets to be on multiple least times. Four times, I think. I was going to say at least five, at least yeah, five maybe times. Maybe five times. We've I think every time I've it. tried yeah. to get in, you guys take the yeah. spot. Like, you guys come back right when it's yeah. back up. It's perfect. Like, ugh. I took my parents on this ride. My mom, like, probably wouldn't normally like this. It's a little too much, like, motion. And there's, like, a little bit yeah. of a drop. But I think yeah. she I think she enjoyed it. Um mm -hmm. Sorry. I'll say it's, it's the peak of it's it's the yeah. peak of imagineering. Yeah. It's so peak that that's why it breaks down so much yes. because of how many components and how many moving parts there are not only sense. on the ride but yeah. in the line. Yeah. That just yeah. contributes to my argument though of like it's not a good ride. You did too much. It's like the Star Wars hotel. They mm. tried to do so much with it. They tried to yeah. do, they leaned so heavy into these specific lanes to make it feel mm -hmm. like you're there that everything yeah. breaks and you're immediately yanked out of this immersion. I, I Sure, I would yeah. have loved to be scared by those people. By the time I sat down, they were nicely being like, hey guys, everyone just follow this line. We're gonna get you some passes. Like yeah. completely out of character, helmets on, just they don't care anymore. It's broken. Yeah. Like it, it completely takes me out of the immersion that if you're going to do this much, get it right. Especially Star Wars. It, it is, it yeah. should be sleek, seamless, yeah. futuristic. You create yeah. this whole thing, you roll this product out, a ride like we've never seen before, Imagineering at its finest, and you can't get it to work. From a full park open to park close, I don't know if they have a day on the books where it just has not, you haven't had to clear the line. Not that we've seen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I, I would say we've been there like a lot of times and we've tried to write it. I know we've gone on it five times, but I think we've tried to write it more than that. And it's just been closed. Yeah. And like, I, t I totally get what you're saying. I think of that when I think of the Millennium Falcon ride too, where mm -hmm. it's like, okay, great. You got the aesthetic down, but like, what about the ride? Yeah. Like, Maybe that's you know, why I love Star can... Wars so much is like everything else new Star Wars they've given me. It's... <clears throat> You yeah. bit off a little more than you can chew. It doesn't feel right yeah. now. That like is... the same thing with yeah. them saying all the characters will speak in a language and you won't be able to talk. Everything feels like they make all these promises when it comes to Star Wars because yeah. the fan base is so passionate. They mm -hmm. love this. Like Star mm -hmm. Wars is one of the most yeah. passionate, powerful fan bases, mm -hmm. I think. And it's multi-generational. And you make yeah. hundreds of promises to all these different age of people and none of them yeah. are fulfilled. None of them. There is always yeah. something being let down. If you were looking forward to this, it's not exactly what you were promised. Hotel, yeah. Galaxy's Edge, the rides, the movies. The movies like they're mm -hmm. just, it, it's getting less and less. Disney is watering fun. down Star Wars a lot. Yeah. For sure. It should be fun. There should be like a fun, there's a fun, playful aspect of Star Wars yeah. that I feel like they are kind of like just missing. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, yeah, I think, I think there's some seriousness too and, and simplicity. Like when I think of like the first, like three, the first like five, um, four, five and six, oh, I, I <laughs> think, I think like it had like a little bit of a simpler like storyline mm -hmm. and stuff. Like yeah. it might've had some depth, depth yeah. to it, but it wasn't like. Yeah, it's like there, don't, it's, you don't need to do too much. Too many like, magic hidden to it. I mean, like there's the force, but yeah. like it's just people doing like yeah. saving right. other yeah. people. You know, like and yeah. Okay. Anyways, we we. 
I, I feel you. So we I, hate I'm Star sorry. Wars. I'll get you on there eventually. I was, I know, I was gonna say we. It went into just bashing Star Wars as a whole. Put this Star out. No, no put this out and send this and take one. this. And get a free uh, a free lightning lane for that. Yes. Yeah. If you guys see this, well, I'm leaving reviews. That's the thing Disney, too. Let me on this ride. You don't get your money back if you paid for the lightning lane yeah, and you the don't. ride closed down. I don't is, know how that works. I'm, yeah. You might terrible i don't think you do uh, we did no it, yeah we paid for it and we didn't get it they back. give you the fast pass with the hope that you can come back the that rest of the day, day but if it doesn't open again you lost your money that's not okay that's not okay yeah. disney that is not okay disney that not that's okay. pretty <laughs> up actually yeah. i'm canceling my disney. pass right now oh i can't say like curse words i'm sorry it's fine oh, my, oh. My... he'll censor that not that's on funny. the disney episode all right, uh, we're on the last ride. The most recent ride from 2023 is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Maya? Okay, I debated for a long time whether I wanted this to be one or two because I wow. love this ride. Cool. Yeah, so it's it got two. Yeah, love I rated it. it two. Ethan? Fuck. Nice. Three. Nice. Uh, I have it at 16. Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the best line in the park. I love it. Yeah, yes. the line I agree. is yes. it's, it feels like Shrek 2. All the little, yes. like, uh, yes. real life movies and posters and the way they just made it yes. Mickey Mouse version. Mm -hmm. That, like, El Capitan, yeah. it yeah. feels it's fun. Fun. The giant food and the yeah. snack bar everything mm -hmm. is so fun about that i think yeah. they crushed it crushed it yeah this might be higher exactly. i, I want to ride this again. every time yeah me too the line is is kind of long sometimes i think and mm -hmm. but again that's one of those lines it is worth it to me i look mm -hmm. at everything in the line we're chatting about the moon the parrot trap and it's chip and dale and mm -hmm. all the fun yeah. stuff like it is so yeah. fun i think i do I do like when things do that. Take like real life and make yeah. it yeah. like Zootopia, the way they do that. And there's just yeah. all those real life things that get turned into their Disney yeah. version right. of them. And right. I love that. And the ride itself is so much fun. It's yeah. so cute. Like, I love the song. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I love the story. I love the. And they adventure. surprise you. I yeah. Feel like. Easy. Yes. The cha cha. Yeah, yeah, dancing carts thing. Yeah. Funny yeah. enough, it's the same ride mechanic so as Rise of the Resistance with yep. the like yeah. magnetic they track. Got it right. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how often this one breaks down, but it it's does break cool. down often. But it's back up in an hour. So yeah. if you ask mm -hmm. them when it broke down, if you just come back in one hour, you'll be like at the front of the line. That's yeah, the I best. Think... Wait for it to break down yeah. and then go. That's wait what for we it. did. Yeah. yeah. I, and you say, walk I think onto the ride. Right on it. It broke down at one point when someone was in the bow park because you were just kind of sitting going back yeah, and forth yeah. in the bow park. And we thought, this is going for a long time. But oh they just kind of kept doing it. Like you were just doing the cha-cha room again. It never stopped. And then you realized they were announcing over there that there's yeah. a slight delay. And yeah. you're like, oh, it's I didn't like a realize nightmare. we were stuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just thought we were cha cha forever. Like, <laughs> But... Yeah, I, I'm impressed with how good this ride is for a new ride. I don't expect much yeah. of Disney anymore, like, in terms of new rides, and I was thoroughly surprised and impressed with this one. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's yeah. not fair of me to say, but... Yeah, they just do Star Wars during no, they, it, they, they, <laughs> they, they, they got They lost their way a little bit Yeah, because yeah. of Spider-Man, also, I think, is what we're thinking of. Mm, um, yeah. But we're going to hope that they get it back. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Do you guys want to hear the the last to first, or do you want to hear the quick little uh, category recap first, and then we'll go through all the rides? Categories. All right, real quick recap. I, I messed this up again, but the lands are completely different. But last okay. place in terms of lands looks like it's Frontierland with an average of 24, and first Fair. place is New Orleans Square with an average of 6. Um, that makes sense. And then we have the decades, which do not go in reverse order like I thought. Uh, first huh. place, believe it or not, looks like it's the 20s. <laughs> not last place like I thought, it, with an average of 8.5. And, and last place is the 10s, with an average of 22.88. Can't believe I did also that. Fair. I'm so sorry. Nice. No, you're good. 
<laughs> okay, let's do a quick 36 to 1. So in last place, we have King Arthur's Carousel. Then we have <laughs> Finding Nemo Submarines, Chippendale Coaster, Astro yep. Orbiter, Casey yep. Jr., Columbia, Mark Twain, It's a Small World, Monorail, Smuggler's Run, Dumbo, Teacups, Peter Pan, Hyperspace Mountain, Roger Rabbit, Mr. Toad, Autopia, Pinocchio, Winnie the Pooh, Alice in Wonderland, Snow White, Storybook Land Canal Boats, Thunder Mountain, Indiana Jones, Star Tours, Matterhorn, The Disneyland Railroad, Jungle Cruise, Rise of the Resistance, Buzz Lightyear, Splash Mountain, Haunted Mansion, Holiday, uh, Nightmare for Christmas Edition, uh, Space Mountain, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway, Runaway Railroad, Haunted Mansion, and in first place is Pirates of the Caribbean, which I forgot to mention, I think was Walt's last ride. Oh, yeah. I think that is perfect. I think that's a perfect, yeah, other than last place. That <laughs> sounds right. Yeah. yeah. That list. Yeah. I'm honestly right. <laughs> shocked about mickey and minnie being third place out of i was every, shocked that's I, crazy. Was, I thought i was yeah. gonna drop a bomb when i had my third still left i was like dude they're all gonna say like 20 something or 17 and i'm gonna be like three and i'm gonna stand by it because i love the line and stuff but yeah. when you guys said those i was like no, oh thank so goodness because it's yeah. so good if yeah. it weren't for me it was it almost been, my number one number it would have been second yeah. if not maybe first like that's yeah that's crazy i I, it's it's so Pirates, cool. Haunted Mansion, Mickey and Minnie. Yep. Yep. I think that, no, that's, that's right. Yeah. Perfect. yeah. I, think I like that's that right. we all had such, like, different uh, mm -hmm. numbers at first. And when we get the accumulated list at the end, we're like, we're okay with this. This is totally fine. We yeah. have a good, yeah. solid group yep. of people, good head on our shoulders. <laughs> this is this is the correct <laughs> ranking. <laughs> and I, I think maybe there's, like, a few that could, like, Twitch next time, but yeah. generally speaking, yeah. considering there's a lot of criteria, there's yeah. a lot yeah. of different types of rides yeah. across four different people. I think that's a good luck. I I, I'm not mad at all that Pirates is number one. Yeah. yeah, just you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I do love doing this, averaging the four of us, because I think it gives a good, honest, clear depiction yeah. of of really? the way all the rides stand, and that's that's mm -hmm. really cool. Also, both Haunted Mansions yeah. are top five. That's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Epic. This is Accurate. a good list yep. to reference if you have a like a three day pass and you're coming to visit. This is a good ranking mm -hmm. for like, should I even wait for the line? Is it worth it? Like, yeah. I think we did mm -hmm. a good job at considering that. Like, some lines they're ungodly long. It happens. It's a park. It's Disney. Yeah. It's gonna happen. But yeah. some of them are worth it. Some of the lines move quick. Pirates yeah. of the Caribbean. I think if you're there for three yeah. days and you walk past it and at every point you see a 40 minute wait you're like maybe we can get it maybe we can get it smaller we can get it smaller but this tells people like yeah. the 40 minutes is not 40 minutes and if it is it doesn't feel yeah. like yeah. it the way you feel the yeah. 40 minutes when you're waiting for space mountain yeah you feel and every if it does, minute it's... waiting for space mountain it's yeah. also worth it yeah yeah, yeah. like right. it's a long ride yes you're not going to be like oh that wasn't worth it you're going to you're going to forget the yeah. wait and be like wow yeah i just yeah. was transported yeah. somewhere yeah. last half and of the weight of pirates feels like the ride has started you you get you're the already yeah, you're it, on you it. smell it you see the mm -hmm. boats rolling up you're separating into the section yeah. like it all feels like the ride has begun when you enter and that's yeah. something to be said yeah. because some of these rides aren't that way yeah, yeah. well totally agree congratulations to pirates of the caribbean congratulations to us for doing all that and that was a long episode thank you for watching if you watched that whole thing and if you enjoyed mm -hmm. please consider supporting us on patreon uh we got some some perks on there some tiers that you can join uh if you don't want to throw us any money like share subscribe do all that good stuff um i think i would you know i would watch this video if i found it on youtube i would love watching people rank all the disney rides so send it to your friends if you think they would enjoy this we'd appreciate it but uh until next month when we uh, rank something else hey you guys choose i feel like we we picked the first two you guys choose what we rank next uh yeah. i don't know if you have anything off the top of your mind or if we'll 
So we're gonna rank brands brands of butter. There you go. K- and Kerry, margarine. Kerry, what's the Irish one? Kerry Gold. Kerry Gold. Kerry Number Gold. one. <laughs> Can't believe it's not butter. I was about that's the one I was thinking of. That and the the brown tub country crock country crock. Rock, yes. Whatever it is. Yes. Those are like the household. Oh my goodness. Brands. We are not. I'm not. Join I'm not us next for week when we <laughs> rank Maya, the I butter. Playing into this game. I'm out. <laughs> if you ask me to rank butter, I'm not. But we have to do a like <laughs> each one. We have to take a tablespoon and taste as we do it. It's not just yes. off, off the top of our minds. Do you know how big a tablespoon is? I do. That's why I said it. <laughs> a lot of butter. It's a lot of unsalted. butter. Like 200 calories in but, butter right there. It, <laughs> there's olive oil. There's uh, canola oil. There's a lot of different salted, unsalted. Yeah. Yep. We got a lot of butter to taste. Well, look forward to that next month. We will be, we'll be back to rank something else next month, whether it's butter or not. But until then, my name is Jordan. <laughs> this is Taylor. My name is Ethan, and this is Maya. Happy Welcome ranking. to the rebellion. Mm-hmm.